Are you ready now? <laughs> We're not going to start with that one, but we'll, ev- <laughs> we'll eventually get to it. We'll work our way there. Oh, I keep waiting for an intro and we <laughs> still don't have one. <laughs> episode eight. Yeah, episode eight. For our Kobe episode. Season. Yeah, we need oh one. Oh, for, our, Kobe for our Monte Ellis episode. This is the one. Ooh. No. Yeah. It yeah. No. Wasn't Darren Williams eight, too? Man, was you guys got more ball knowledge? Yeah, than Darren Williams. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're a big baller. Was Jermaine O'Neal? No, he was. Seven. I think he was nine. He was seven. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was seven. seven. Kobe's mamas. Let's just know. leave it at Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think we need to take up any more number eights. But yeah, we're eight episodes in. Five seasons. Eight, tw- it's the eight twenty four episode. This is the eight twenty four episode. How? What's twenty four? Twenty twenty four. Oh yeah. Oh. Whoa. 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 Let's go. Uh, that's kind of fire. What animal that was, was that? <laughs> that was that was almost, that was, it was almost racist. <laughs> Why was it racist? That was scary. Yeah. Why was it racist? No, no, it's racist in your brain. No, Jerry, it what seemed like that? you could have been emulating. Why? It's race, you yeah. are bringing the racism into the picture. I I was was just celebrating oh, us yeah. this being eight twenty four. Mm-hmm. You were celebrating. That's what you. That's how you sound ah! when you celebrate. Yeah. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah. What's wrong with Kobe you? was close Do to the you? Latino community. He married <laughs> one. Yeah, he was. <laughs> his, his children are half Latin. <laughs> That's okay. You yeah. guys are annoying. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're still intro-less. We're eight episodes into season five. If you're new here, welcome to the show. If you're returning, thanks for tuning in. Um... I'm your main host, Zoe, since Tresor makes us do intros now every oh, episode. I'm glad. I'm Tresor. Mucho. Oh, yeah. Mucho's getting real comfortable on that chair, eh, yeah. brother? Yeah. <laughs> I am still. You guys can tell, right? Your pants are a little tight today. <laughs> yeah, my pants are. <laughs> low key. Low key. The, the tight pants are back. I low key. Lie. I peeped it, but yeah. I was like, I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. I don't want to call it. But how you have like a whole that. spiel about no, no more no skinny baggy, pants? No skinny jeans. It's only baggy from now on pulls up. Nah. We talked about that last week off air. We literally said I we know. thought it was like baggy jeans now. And you're here. You're skinny too. Okay, but my th- hold on. Let's okay. Because question for the room: mm-hmm. Are skinny jeans not a thing anymore? Ski- They're still a thing, right? As a woman, mm-hmm. why can't I wear skinny jeans? No, I, I mean for guys. I just- okay, so for men, skinny jeans are not a thing. Yeah, skinny really skinny right. jeans are a wrap. These aren't jeans though, but skinny <laughs> jeans skinny jeans are a wrap. But I only got so many pants, dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's too many episodes now. You gotta start. <laughs> you gotta get it. <laughs> That's some real shit. Isn't I'm it? digging deep now, all right? So you, you, gotta gotta, start, you just gotta allow it. You, you gotta, gotta start allow it. thrifting yeah. or going to H&M. You're right, you're right. I'm, I'm gonna hit the black Uniqlo market. Uniqlo has really good jeans, yo. Yeah, Uniqlo yeah. has good They're kinda jeans. kind of expensive. Yeah. I'm gonna hit them up. Are they? Yeah. Just where you're just cheap. Jeans, They're no, not jeans, that expensive. Jeans? Especially for doing black jeans. Yeah, go for the Jeans are the one ones, thing I'm I'm not willing to spend a lot of money on. Really? That's interesting. You order jeans? What do you mean? Uh, if I've no. already, so if I've already bought from worked. there before and I know my size, I can order them. No okay. problem. Like, but I'm, when it comes to baggy jeans though, I'd be going sizes up and shit. What is it? 2003? Why I'm a 32. S- I go like 36 for baggy what? jeans. What? Yeah. Why? If, if you have long baggy. legs, you kind of have. Yeah, to. you got to. But that yeah. doesn't affect your waist though. That's your inseam. No, but it's the length. It just, it just hangs off. It's just different vibes, you know? But 30, are you a 32 waist? Mm-hmm. And you get thirty six waist. I hit, I hit them squats, dog. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> just just tie your belt tighter. Yeah, but your belt can be so tight and it's all be scrunch up at the top. No, you gotta tie them. It depends. You you can't go like forty four. Yeah, you can't go for it. Yeah. Uh, you can maybe go like two sizes. Up. Yeah, we don't we we know how to thrift. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'm not a real big thrifter. But and you know how sometimes people like it's crazy because some people look down on thrifting. And I hope people know that when you go to vintage shops, you're thrifting with a fancy name. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah, act true. like they're not thrifting. That's thrifting. High end. Yeah. I mean, okay, but where are, are people thrifting? thrifting? Like, it depends. But what's the <laughs> well, what's really the difference though? What's the difference with going to Value Village or me going to Value Village, buying it and selling it in my boutique? Mm-hmm. Oh well, yeah, I see what you mean. It's the same point. thing. Even yeah, jewelry, no. a lot like that, like Rolexes, like people just like there's only a couple of them made, you know, and then, like they kind of get passed. So, do you think shit. if you buy something used, it's considered thrifting? Like no matter what, technically. Well, no, no, no. I think thrifting has to do with the price. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd agree. So yeah, if I buy a used Rolex, you can't say I thrifted my nah. Rolex. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, you can't. Thr- isn't thrifting like the act of like? 
the thrift store yeah, and like you going like, through, like searching like, through and stuff. Isn't there like an act of thrifting? Oh. Yeah. So how? But if I go, if I get my Rolex used, then it's I thrifted this Rolex. No, you just <laughs> bought a used Rolex. I just bought a used Rolex. Yeah, like when you buy a car, you didn't thrift a used car. Do you believe in buying used cars? Yeah, it's the best way to yeah. do it. I yeah. think it yeah. makes the most sense, technically speaking. It's less less. You like don't risk. believe in it. Not that I don't believe in it. I just think it it, de- it really depends. It really depends. Especially when you're young, I think it makes the most. Yeah, sense. I think when you're yeah. young, it does we'll make a lot of sense. But also, like to me, it's like a car is already a depreciating asset. So, mm-hmm. like if it's used, like how much time am I getting? Out? Especially if I'm a big driver, like no. how much time am I getting get out this car? If this car is already at but the, X amount of. But kilometers, the thing you know? is, and I'm not no car expert, but like. <laughs> The depreciation, like, it kind of tails off. Like, that first year depreciation Mm -hmm. is way more than, like, the more Mm. years. So, like, once you drive it off the lot, you're losing way more than if you bought a car that was three years old and you sold it in a year. Mm. So, I think that's why people do it. Economics. Well, real, real, a little little tangent real quick, but it was was people talking about how you're not grown if you don't own a car. (laughs) I did see that. (laughs) (laughs) What you think about that, Zoe? Um, I wouldn't say, listen, I've always had one rule when mm-hmm. it came to being an adult. You either got to have your own car or your own place. You mm. can't have neither. One of the two. One, at I like least that. one That's of the really two. Interesting That's a very, at least one of the yeah. two. Listen, people can call me pre- what's, pretentious, whatever. I don't give a fuck. You have to have one of the two. Mm-hmm. You can't be living at home carless, brother. Mm. <laughs> you got to have one. And I don't judge people. I live at home. I have no problem admitting that. I yeah. love living at home. I save money. Mm-hmm. It's great in there. That's why so Love many. It. No, yeah, it's amazing. I ain't got no problem. Do your parents know how much you make? Hell no. If my mom knew how much I make, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Nah. It's funny. <laughs> she made a comment, the, and I'm, I'll never say how much I make. She made a comment. I think it was like maybe a couple days ago. She's like, "Yeah, oh, cause so I found a dead rat in my backyard the other day. No, maybe like two days ago." And if you know me, I don't mess with rodents. I don't like rodents. I don't like flying insects, mice, rats squirrels all them things i don't play with them (laughs) so i was in my backyard and i was uh my dog had pooped in the backyard so i usually like take his poop and i throw it out so because i hate when you poop uh, piles in the backyard mm, whatever so my dog pooped in the backyard so okay so i went outside picking up my dog poop to put it in the like the bag or whatever yeah and i turn around to walk back in the house and all i saw was a face and a tail, and okay. I, <laughs> yo, I, when I tell you, I hightailed it into my house, sp- screamed. That's fair. Because I was like, what the, f- was that? Like, what, you don't see something so fast, you're like, you, you know when your brain computes it, but then you're like, yo, was that actually what I thought it was? So then I, like, called my mom, I'm like, yo, I think there's a rat in the backyard. She wasn't even in the country. I'm like, yo, there's a rat, there's a rat. She's like, what am I going to do? I'm like, there's she's not a in the country. She's not in the country. <laughs> she was out the way this weekend. I'm like, yo, there's a rat in the backyard, blah, blah, blah. So she's like, check. So I went, my mom, from my mom's room, mm-hmm. her bedroom window faces the backyard. You had to get a bird's eye view. Of so I went to- <laughs> And you called somebody else who's in another country <laughs> to help so, you. Yo, one thing about me, I'm going to call my mom, yo. Play yeah. with me if you want to. So I ran upstairs to her room. Looked down, I'm like, oh my god, it's <laughs> and I saw the dead rat. So whatever. Long story short, she's like, yeah, I called city of Brampton. So I called the city, and I was For a like, dead rat? Hell, who's gonna pick it up, store? You? Are you out of your blood clot, man? <laughs> Me? Are you, you crazy? Dust pan and broom. Yeah. A rat? Yeah. And guys, I'm not talking about mouse. There's no way, but, rat. But, but, There's but, no way that the city heard you. Oh, she came. For a rat? Why you say rat? Like it's not. It's a rat, my nigga. Rat. I don't. They, they would have told me to do that. Are you myself. scared that it's gonna be going in your basement? It's the, dead. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the problem? <laughs> Who's getting it out? So, but are you scared that it has like family? Like I don't even like. It's, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't even get it. Like what? you, you had to call somebody to pick up a dead rat. Do you guys hear yourselves right now? You hear yourself. You hear yourself? <laughs> it's giving privileged. <laughs> guys, no, let's go. Let's be. Before I start cussing right now, let's be very fucking for real. Bro, you, you get a dustpan and sweep up the dead rat. No, guys. And put it in the garbage. No, guys, guys, guys. No, stop, stop, stop. You're not pissing <laughs> off. I think it's understand. I'm not. This is not a mouse, eh? There's mice and there's rats. Yeah. Okay? Rats are big bodies. Get a stick and a dead pan. And you push it into the thing and you throw it out. Oh, actually, no. Well, t- in your defense, when you ha- when there's a dead animal, you have to dispose it the right way. You I can't don't ju- know. You, you I can't promise just, you. You I can't just know throw it in the garbage. So. That too, because where am I putting this thing? Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you that. 
Sure, Th- but I'm also it. not touching it. I'm throwing in that up co- in the apartment across <laughs> the streets. <laughs> Your thing. No. Yeah? You're just putting it with the rest of the garbage? That's it. gross. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so my mom was like, so I called the city. And I was like, yo, uh, there's a dead rat in my backyard. And they were like, okay, like, do you want to come get it? And I was like, absolutely, please. Is it free? So before, because I live, where I live, it's like near like a like wilderness. Like there's a lot, there's a creek near mm. my house. So... There's a creek and there's there's deer down there. Oh there's God. raccoon skunk. Like I live in like Is this Brampton? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but where I live, it's like very wildernessy. Mm, Even yeah. though there's a lot of houses. Like if you there if you go over the bridge, it's all wilderness. Oh, okay. So sometimes the animals come up. Like, yo, skunks, geese, they run our block. Oh, wow. So one time we had a dead raccoon in our backyard years ago. Mm. And they came and picked it up for free, no problem. So I called them again. I'm like, yo, I've been this before. So I called them and she was like, Yeah, yeah, like we'll come get it. It's a fifty dollar charge. I said, sister, <laughs> no, because before you had this for free. Yeah. She was like, oh, yeah, no, it's $50 for as long as I've been here. And I said, yo, bun that dog. So I called my uncle. <laughs> and I was like, yo, please come pick up that rat in the yeah. backyard. And then I canceled the city of Brampton. But then Shorty still came anyways. And she was like, y'all, let's do it. Like, you know, just, just allow it. Like, I'll, I'll I bless bad. you. Yeah. Oh. So she blessed me. Cool. Mm-hmm. She picked up that shorty picked up like it was nothing. Like it was just a yeah, she just, just glove and then just yeah, yeah, she just had like a like a plastic bag and just like mm-hmm. picked and it was just like stiff, like, <laughs> like, it was, it was like, like picked it up, yeah, threw it over the fence, and she's like, All right, cool, have a good day. And I was like, That's nasty, yo. Mm. That's nasty. But all in all to say, so my mom was like, Oh yeah, you know, like the people, the girl picked the rap probably makes it as much as you, like, probably like thirty dollars an hour. And I was like, Girl. <laughs> 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 I was like, <laughs> You're yeah. like, stay thinking that. Please stay thinking that. I was like, yep. <laughs> Don't confuse me with the brooks. <laughs> I didn't say that. Mm. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, my mom doesn't know how much I make. And it's not that. Yeah. But you know. That's, that's a sticky one still. She'll never know. Once parents know, now, now all of a sudden you have to start contributing to more things. Yeah. And even when I have like big purchases, I have to hide it on the low. Like when really? I, I got, yeah, like if I get like designer stuff you mm. know it's like you ever just lie i'll just lie my mom is so out of touch <laughs> if if a, if a gucci backpack came to the house i would tell her it's 200 dollars, and she would believe it oh my mom no she's not that out of touch my, <laughs> my mom, mom would know. believe it my mom would be like okay you definitely <laughs> dropped at least thousands on that and i'd be like what you be buying dog me yeah that costs thousands yeah um coats purses yeah. oh. actually you know what i don't think i have things that are worth thousands but i didn't pay thousands you know what I mean? Because, like mm-hmm. I said, I mentioned before, I worked in designer stores. I have friends who work in designer stores. I'm so even, they steal it? No. <laughs> <laughs> they give me their discount oh. on certain things. Oh. But yeah. even, like, now, like, I might, I'm, you know, I got a promotion. I might, I'm going to treat myself to a nice little designer bag. Hell and, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good percentage off. So, I'm like, my thing is, like, okay, if my friend works here, they're not going to work here forever. So, let me try to get, if it's a good, like, if it's, like, I'm talking, like, 45% off. Mm-hmm. Why the hell would I not get a designer bag for forty five percent off? Yeah. So when your friend says she's working at Saks, first you say congrats, <laughs> and then the next message this is counts. I emoji. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Counts. Yeah. First, oh my god, congratulations, yeah. love that for you. Drinks on me. What's next message is saying? what's your discount saying? <laughs> Can you send me what the store has? Okay. Send me pics. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. I've been that position, like I said. The Saks employed friends, like the Foot Locker employed friend, like he's just. It's all the yeah. same. Facilitating yeah. the discount. True. It's yeah. all the same. But, but to answer your question, I don't think you necessarily need a car to be a adult. Mm. I think it depends on where you live, because like, I feel like ninety percent of the people I know that live in New York don't have a car. Yeah, because they live in a real place. You know what the issue <laughs> is? <laughs> is the people who live in drive-only cities and people who live in walkable cities, just the, the amount of cognitive dissonance, like, they really don't understand each they other. Don't understand yeah. Each other. yeah. yeah. There's certain cities, like, L.A., you need a car. Yeah. That's or, why that or you're trash. Ubering, yeah. you're dumb Ubers. I've heard in tri- Atlanta you need a car, too, right? Yeah, Atlanta, That's you why need that a car. That's trash. I really, I'm not gonna lie to so you. So you think only walkable cities are are good? Yeah. You were kind of shitting on people who like live like what? So in what are, only in, in drive only cities? So yeah. what are walkable cities yeah, besides yeah. New York and downtown Toronto, Chicago? Mm, I would disagree. Is but. Houston walkable? I've never no, been. not at all. No, no, no. Mm. The south, <laughs> anywhere in the south is not walkable. Mm. DC is pretty good. Boston's decent. Yeah, DC um, is walkable. I've wa- I walked around in DC. Uh, San quite Francisco, a bit. but then your car is San Francisco if you have is one. walkable. Mm. San Francisco is pretty good. You got to take mm. that train with no doors on it that goes up the hill. 
There's no doors on the train in San Francisco. You're talking about the, the trolley that goes up. Yeah, yeah, the trolleys. Yeah. What? Montreal, no walkable city. Vancouver. Montreal? Vancouver's not a walkable city. Well, you're talking about like downtown cores. I'm talking about just the city in general. Like, yeah, I'm talking about. No the- matter where you live in New York city, it's walkable. Sit- New York is number one, not even close in yeah. North America facts. New York City or New York? New York, New York City. City. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, because I know space in New York is not walkable. Yeah. Any, anything else in those cities is just not fire to me. <laughs> and those cities that are like <laughs> drive-only cities, people who live there tell you, like, you don't take the transit because the people that you're going to encounter on the transit, it's going to make you have a long, a long yeah. ride. Yeah. LA, I heard that about LA. Yeah, you don't take They're transit. They're scared to it. take the transit. You Why? Not. What happens on the transit in LA? I just Freaks trans- come out at night. <laughs> yeah. And oh. the in, in, in those cities where it's like drive only, like the city kind of only has a tr- like a like a public transit thing just to say that they like have yeah. one. Like nobody it's not really, efficient. Yeah, 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 but like, it is cheap. You could go on the on yeah. the bus in LA for like a dollar fifty. Really? Yeah, it's a dumb cheap. Damn. But then you risk the freaks coming. But out. then yeah, you risk being around the freaks. <laughs> nah. That's why when all these people talk about like I'm a backseat legend, I know where you're from. Wait. <laughs> what do you You're not you, from a walkable city that, if you're that, a backseat legend. Because New York people aren't really backseat. Yeah, they're not backseat legends. They're more like stairwellers. Nah, these Brampton women, they're backseat legends. Hold on. Whoa. 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 Care to I'm, add? I'm whoa. Just, whoa. I'm, just, I'm just naming a whoa. Just naming whoa. a random suburb. That's it. First of all. That's, I'm just naming a care random suburb. Y'all can make me Joe Budden these AirPods or these, <laughs> these, these, these earphones off. Okay. If you guys aren't from Toronto, Brampton is a suburb of Toronto. Yeah. What I'm saying, first of all, mm-hmm. that was that was crazy. I'm lying though. Where are the back seats? I don't think they're from the suburbs. I understand what you mean yeah. because you know we have cars. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Bram- yeah. like, why are why did Brampton girls catch a straight? <laughs> I'm sorry, people from the suburbs, including Brampton, Mississauga. Ajax. And what does backseat legend even mean? I don't. I'm not a backseat legend, but like, what does that even mean? <laughs> you can't. You um, you're, I have to clarify this. You're notorious. <laughs> that means uh, people that are notorious for their cars having hydraulics without hydraulics. Yeah. So you mean you're consistently having sex in the car? In the backseat, yeah. With the same person? But I feel like Hopefully. having sex in the car now, is just, it's not it's not ideal unless you have like a... But even then, it's like, why are we having sex in the car? Because nobody has their own crib out there. That is true. Everybody Especially young. when you're young. Yeah. yeah, when you're young, I can see getting off. And I've, I've had sex in cars before. I Hell mean, yeah. It is, <laughs> you're not legend yet. Not, yet but it's yeah. not <laughs> happening. I'm not, I'm not, not going right. to yeah. like, you know, be legend. a right. backseat legend. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, sometimes, you know, you're just... It's in the car. You just, mm-hmm. Especially if they have a big car. Like, what? It's yeah. comfortable back here. For sure. So I'm, what's, not, I'm not shitting on it. Turn up. So what's worse, a backseat legend or a, a stairwell legend? Stairwell, for sure. Stair- stairwell. Yeah, stairwell. Stairwell, for sure. Stairwell, got stairwell it. sick. Yeah. At yeah. least the, the backseat, you have some type of privacy a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cheek, the stairwell- cheek to stairs is kind of <laughs> crazy. Wait, why are the cheeks on the stairs? Because <laughs> your pants are down. You're up against the wall? Or- Oh, yeah, I guess you're as a man. You're either sitting oh, or you're sitting. Oh, yeah. on the wall. Okay, yeah, you're putting yeah, your yeah. pants down. I'm telling you, yeah. a man's bare ass on stairs, stairwells. Yeah, you got to do it through like, the boxer hall if you're, yeah. <laughs> You got to. If you're on. Myth disproven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, we always if you're the there, like, hole. yeah. I just don't. I just think, like, your butt can't be out. Like, especially if you're doing, like, a quickie in public. Mm-hmm. Just the cheeks out is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit crazy. Cheeks how's out is how's the logistics of the stairwell sex though? It's like, but then you chastise him for not wanting cheeks. Out. <laughs> 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 I don't like my cheeks out. Now it's an issue. Yes, yeah. but Trisor said he women do like, not know what they want. No, no, no. no. <laughs> cheeks Look. out in public quickie is a little crazy. Jasor is scared of cheeks out in his private room. Like, that is not. Okay, but do you also think about, like, what you're like, the essence what? of a man with his one. cheeks Oh, yeah, out you're new. Jasor, tell him about your. <laughs> All I said. Jasor, tell him about your fear. Oh. Let's hear it, man. All I said. <laughs> she's gassing it. It's I'm not, not a fear. It. It's not, not a fear. It's a All fear. I said yeah. is, I don't like my ass being out. And like, <laughs> and this is essentially and, and, what and, you're talking and, about. And it's any like, situation? if a man has his ass out, if cheat, like that's not a. Tristor said, just in like a sexual situation. Really? Tristor is having sex. 
he immediately boxes off. Like when I'm done, I'm putting my pants oh, on. right after. Yeah. Okay. I'm not talking about like during. Not during. All right. But right. that to me is crazy. That, uh. Because you know like, what? Why are you so scared of your cheeks moving a little bit? Like, what's wrong with you? I you never just like said, fuck it. it, just passed out. Of course I have. Okay, yeah, yeah, I would yeah, just yeah. say I don't prefer it. Anyway, he's like, I just don't prefer it. Word. <laughs> I like the stare. I would never, ever in my life do the stairs. The That's stairwell? crazy. Yeah, we know well, that would kill you. But what's crazy. the legit? But even as like, if you <laughs> bend over look- and your shirt goes up, like as a guy, you shouldn't be like, you know. Like- <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm saying men shouldn't have their cheeks out. Like it's like if you when you bend over and like your like your ass crack, should, like a guy shouldn't be doing. Like, yeah, it. men with the ass crack is a little scary. I'm not gonna. Lie. I hate seeing men's ass crack when I'm not supposed to. See There's them. a certain type of dude sense. where that happens often. <laughs> A certain type. What of type person. of dude, Mucho? I mean, you guys can read through what I'm saying. You know a certain I mean? type of man. It's a certain type of man where that happens pretty often. His ass crack comes out. His ass crack's coming out often. Just I don't know what type of out. man that. Yeah, is. these big, these big folks, man. <laughs> you got, you got, you got, the, you got, the big backs. Yeah, like, I don't know. If, like, I didn't know that's where he was going. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that happens, and they adjust their shirt. Adjust their pants. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no, you don't have to block that out. That wasn't offensive. Nah, nah, nah. I, I love you. Nah, that, I love you guys. That's why I'm giving you guys advice, man. Just just watch out for that. <laughs> watch out. That's it. Hey, man. If you feel that breeze, is a reason. Bodies are bodies, you know. Sometimes people buy pants that are too small, too big. Yeah, I can too small. Right but uh, speaking of cheeks, uh, <laughs> yeah, <hey. laughs> cheek mill. Meek oh, mill, wow. freak mill, yeah. whatever you guys want to call it. Might just get hit with the freako. <laughs> <laughs> might just get hit with the freako. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, Meek mill's going through it right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. I think <laughs> there's a vi- like there's certain situations where if no matter how you respond, if you choose not to respond or whatever the case is, you're gonna look crazy. That's in yeah, a way. It's a catch twenty two here. Yeah. But I think. Freak Mill is like really, like really shitting the bed when it comes to his Come responses. On. Like there's, like there's nothing he's saying that's helping his case. And for everyone who doesn't know, recently there was was it like official court documents that stated that Meek Mill, some guy it, who's pressing charges, yeah. on it was a okay, public yeah. filing, yeah, public filing they didn't of someone explicitly say his name either. It yeah, was but like in a redacted the, rapper who is from Philadelphia, and I think there was also that dated, that Nicki dated Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's yeah, really go and down. And like, on top of that, the the other one it said um, R and B singer <laughs> who performed at the Super Bowl, but nobody is talking about that. People are just focused on this guy evades everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he can't keep getting away with. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, and they let apparently it said that Meek Mill and P Diddy had some type of, I guess, sexual relationship, consensual whatever, tools. consensual sexual relationship. And of course, the internet's gonna internet. And they, yo, the funniest one is where they pulled up a video of Meek Mill and P Diddy at the same party, and Meek Mill was like rapping to some song yeah. and he mentioned like having sex and as soon as he rapped having sex P. Diddy's head like whipped to like stare at him yeah. and he started doing like the, the swirly shoulders and I was like yo what but anyways listen I always believe that Hollywood is a wild place and people be doing whatever they want it's Hollywood and I think P. Diddy is a freak nigga like mm. I think P. Diddy is doing some very crazy stuff have any of you two been to his parties? No, I've never been uh, okay. to a Diddy party. And no. I think that's you guys are Hollywood now. And <laughs> I would, I would, a, a couple of those parties. A couple yeah, years ago, I would have wanted to go. Diddy was known to have Tennessee very, very ones, good yeah. parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard his parties are a lot of cocaine and a lot of thing. influence of narcotics. Oh, Freak off! <laughs> Freak off! See, this, this is just another one of those situations where like a lie is just more entertaining than the truth. Mm. Why? I didn't lie. No, there's def. What do you, you think? No, PD no, doesn't do I'm, cocaine. No, 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 I'm talking oh. about the meek situation. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's like, yeah, there's nothing you could do. Even if he just came out, was just like, yo, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's your lifestyle, but that's not me. They would be like, you're lying. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think so. I think if he kind of just like, yo, like, y'all cut that out. Yeah, I think if it was like that, I don't think it would have been that. People were like, oh, you know, whatever. But it's the way he was like, and Andrew Schultz did a joke about it in like his recent stand-up where he was like, yeah, "Yeah," like he's like going off about like how much he loves 
pussy and you know pussy is the best thing in the world and it's the wettest thing it's the fattest thing and it's, the, it's like heaven and I, I fuck girls on their period how could I be gay but it's like yo what like why why did we even why did we even get here like why what are you really trying to say because it's not helping your case no I mean, and yeah. I mean even if Meek Mill is gay like okay I'm sure he's not the first gay rapper I mean, us four don't care, but a lot of the black <laughs> culture does. Yeah, that would be uh, fair. That is fair, right? We are we are fighting a lot of homophobia in our culture, but it's also like and he represents street culture, you know, like like you know, dudes in the streets and stuff. So it's like a big. But I feel like a lot of street niggas those. be gay too. I just feel like this is another Will. <laughs> no, I mean you're guy. right, but yeah, probably. Like I don't know, is Saucy Santana from the streets? I guess, but <laughs> it's like you can't. <laughs> It's hard to have a hardcore hip hop fan base and be gay. It's probably impossible. I feel like this is another Will Smith situation. You think Smith it's impossible? Situation. Right now, it's impossible. Right now, mm-hmm. yeah, it's probably. But this is another Will situation where like someone could just say something, and if it sounds outlandish, people are just gonna run with it. Yeah, there's one that I believe more than the other, but that's yeah. which one do you believe more? Out of Will Smith and Meek Mill. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, need, I really don't know who you. I to. mean, if Will Smith went that way, I'd be less surprised than. Oh, Meek if Meek That's Mill. All I'm saying, yeah. I I mean I get it, but I also think it's like. I mean, listen. I think there's a lot of gay men out there for sure. Like yeah. I, and my thing is like, they're like y'all all can't be straight. You know what I mean? Like if you really think about it, like even like think of sports. You're telling mm-hmm. me every man in the NBA. Every single one is straight. Nah, I feel like Hell there's probably. No. I feel, but I feel like there's probably more bisexual people. You keep saying that. I do because <laughs> because as guys though, if you're bisexual, they call you gay. Yeah. Unfortunately, but yes. women like they you women can differentiate. But if you're a guy and you're bisexual, people are more often gonna call you gay. Yeah. But I definitely do think that there's more bisexual men. men in, like, yeah, yeah. Gender like. Whatever the proper term is, don't you feel me? Everybody, I love everybody. Uh, I'm inclusive yeah. to everybody. Oh, you're doing great. Keep going. You're, you're, <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> you yeah. didn't know you clean. I think it's the the interesting thing though is because it's like there's a lot of there's so you're implying there's a lot of fake straight people. I think so for sure, on, especially on the, men on the, on the men's side, and especially men on the of woman's color. side. It's a lot of fake gay women. Hmm. That's that's that's. that's, that's Yes. A lot of fake That's a fact. Girls. Oh my But okay. God. Are they being are you fake saying gay or fake they... gay or are you saying fake queer, fake bisexual? Like, you know okay. Yeah. So what do you mean? They prefer they still prefer they fake me- like woman. A lot of yeah. them. Mm. Okay. Because it's like you'll you'll kiss, kiss a girl, but yeah. when it's really time to mm-hmm. But is that fake gay or is that just No, that's they're forcing that is fake. We see these videos of Ruby Rose tonguing down these girls like Come to my OnlyFans. Like you, like oh, this I is like a, a real thing that happens and we see it out in the street. Well, I know a lot of lesbian, and I have like lesbian girls that I know who definitely call out women like, yo, y'all are not actual yeah. real lesbians. Like they this can. is not, yeah. <laughs> you can't keep saying <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think you're right. I think there are women who definitely play into the lesbian model Mm-hmm. To uh, I, I, like attract men because they think that men like the girl on girl action type stuff, which I mean, we do. Do you? I mean, I'm saying the royal we, right? What the ro- the we is like the collective we, not oh, okay, yeah. not you personally. And right. We've kind of always said about like how like men, like boys but have I do. that like juvenile like. <laughs> <laughs> I am. The whole threesome fantasy thing that kind of as you, as an adult you're like okay that's not so do like you watch lesbian corn <laughs> I yeah I, I nah, it's not my favorite it's not, not my, my favorite, favorite. It's crazy, I do though which means I he do. dabbled in it <laughs> <laughs> dipped his toes in I do for sure for sure yeah I'll click on it <laughs> see what's going on yeah, over there for sure yeah check it out <laughs> that's funny but also I feel like there's also over the last couple of years there's been like this. It's almost like a hunt for like women trying to find who's gay, and I don't think that's <laughs> yeah. right either. Like, I agree because you can't out someone, right? You're not well, yeah, not even like yeah. people are weapon. Like, how how is everyone supposed to be equal, and how in society are we supposed to treat everyone equally if people weaponize people's sexuality as like like as a as a tool? No, like, you're girls right. out guys for being gay. 
you're doing that in a negative way. You're not doing that just because. Yeah, you're right. And I feel like sometimes, you know, women, especially on social media, they do the whole like, oh, yeah, you're gay and da da da. And like, yeah, I feel like they definitely use. Yeah, they disagree with you. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> they cover it up by calling you sassy. That's right. what they really mm. want to see. You ever seen the meme where, like, it's the gun and the silencer? It's, like, the F <laughs> Sassy oh is the silencer. Oh, my God. I feel, so like, mean, I feel like girls have toned down the sassy. I haven't heard sassy as in much these days. Yeah. It doesn't hit Well, there there anymore. were videos of, like, appara- allegedly, it's, like, Kai Sinat when he was younger mm. with, like, the flower, like, the Snapchat flower filter. Oh, and he's, like, me. rapping Nicki Minaj. And, <laughs> and if it was, like, the zesty. I'm like, guy, come on. Like, yeah. first of all, he's probably, like, 12. In these, <laughs> like, these videos, like, you know what I mean? Like, why? Like, this is not. For sure. Yeah. What, what was he rapping? What song? I don't know, Itty but bitty it, piggy. no, I think it was, I don't know. Super bass. Boss ass bitch. <laughs> was it super bass? I don't know. It was some type of like, definitely more on the feminine side. Yeah. Roman's rap. revenge. I think it was even like high school, maybe. No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to spread rumors. <laughs> Everyone just go check it for yourself. I love it though. Shout out to Kai. I don't know if it was actually, I mean like it did look like him. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was actually him, but they were saying that these videos of him. People will dig stuff up. Bro, yeah, this is like, how why. How would y'all even find that? Bro, this is why like sometimes I just want to like just delete Twitter and delete any sort of Facebook and just mm. restart. But I, I wish I could, but I couldn't, but I really want to because people a- will just Dig. Yeah, they, they could dig deep, but there's an app where you could delete all your old shit. But then, do you want to give them your password and shit? That's yeah, I don't mm. like those third party apps. Because who knows what I was doing in 2011? Like, I don't remember. You I, don't know? Honestly, my, my <laughs> old Twitter got suspended. Yeah, what did they go I would randomly look up my old Twitter and I never said it, even when I was, I had it since I was 13. I never said anything too bad. Mm. Even just like videos, like incriminating videos. One of my friends, he sent me a video today in our group chat of, because he's never on Twitter. So he logged in on Twitter and in his likes, he favorited one of my videos from like 2013. And it was me and him and his ex, like an ex that he had a super bad fallout with. And I'm like, yo, this is on my page. Yeah, I'm like, yo, send me this link. I want to delete this. Yeah, Just stuff like that, where it's like, I don't know who's in what that's still up there. So if you ever like blow one day, like you're already big now, but like I'm talking like skyrocket, like you're global. Like, what's the one piece of content that you're like, yo, this will come back and haunt? I got the some hell trash out songs out there. Um, I, got, <laughs> <laughs> got I don't some know trash a lot of songs yeah. floating on YouTube. A lot of the will... embarrassing stuff that I have, like I'll post it myself. Mm. Okay. So I don't I don't really think there's anything where I would be like embarrassed if it leaked. There's definitely stuff that I would prefer that people don't <laughs> see, but there's I don't think I have anything that I'd be like ashamed if it leaked. Like I don't have a video of me and like a TNAs doing something crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like I was never TNAs. that guy. Like TNA, TNA pants. That's, that's a you don't remember the video, yeah. bro? There's this guy in London, and he like made a PSA. And he's like, somebody hacked my phone, and before they drop this video, I'm gonna drop it myself. <laughs> <laughs> And it was him, like, in TNAs with, like, all of his boys. And he was, like, twerking. Uh, and everyone's like, yo, you're done. But you don't have any. No, <laughs> or, like, no, the no. Jalen Green video of him. like <laughs> that, That's crazy. <laughs> that, like, even just doing that is one thing. And then doing that on camera. Yeah, no, me and my friends never played like that. But that's like white boy humor and stuff, though. Kind of. Is it? Yeah, like I don't know. I went to high school with a lot of white, and that was like they joke and play gay chicken and stuff. Like, what the hell is what? gay chicken? They is that like, what I think it is? Oh, like the game chicken, but it's like how gay can you get? Yeah, it's like that's their, that's the that's the it's like an ongoing joke with them. Yeah, like to see who's gonna crack first. Like, oh, it's like they're that's weird. so weird. Hockey guys. Yeah, yeah, like the yeah. hockey locker room yeah. kind of. Bro- what about so you? Weird. Do you have anything that you wouldn't want? Coming back? Me? Yeah, I said I got trash music that um, <laughs> will haunt me. Yeah, maybe some like really corny videos from high school. I'm sure there's some dumb ones out there. I'm trying to find a video and I can't find it because it was on a YouTube channel that I made in like grade 10. It's of me doing the cinnamon challenge. Uh-huh. I want to see that video. I haven't seen it in a while. That's but it's pretty, on YouTube somewhere. Innocent, yeah, yeah, I want to find it. Yeah, I don't know if I have... Yeah, I don't know if I, I mean, I'm sure there is stuff that I'm just not thinking the of. The worst shit is the th- stuff that you can't remember. Exactly. That's and then what it comes I'm back and you're like, oh my God. 
But on my Instagram, I don't delete anything. I have, I have, I have you could go all the way back to 2012 on my shit. Facts. What? Yeah, no, I, you could with me too. I don't delete anything. Maybe a couple, uh, what? maybe a couple things are archived, but that's it. Oh, like, I delete a lot off my Instagram. Yeah, because you're a woman. Like you guys, you guys like to keep it like all like mystique and stuff. I don't care. Mystique. Have it up mystique. for two days. Like archive. <laughs> Temp. Yeah. Felt cute. Might delete yeah, later. Deleting yeah, yeah. soon. Uh, what's okay. the point of posting if you're deleting soon? <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely tell me. What's the point? I've never had that as my caption, so I don't know. No, I've but never... what's the point of doing that? Those are women. I guess maybe anxiety. like yeah, maybe like oh, I kind of like it, but like depending on the response, I might delete. I mean, it's mm. kind of what it means, basically. Mm-mm. She's Searching not deleting it ex- if she gets one k likes. She's like, never Searching mind. for external <laughs> validation. I've never had, like, the felt cute. Post it with your chest. Yeah, I might felt cute. Look at me. Like, that's my, ca- <laughs> that's my <laughs> caption. Yeah. Like, face looked great today. How do you feel about dudes posting photo dumps? Fe- I don't think that. February, I- February photo dump. Is this all pictures of himself? Yeah. And no. the caption is February in lower caps, and there's a space between each letter. <laughs> okay, What? <laughs> Yeah, what? paint the picture, Clyde. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't <laughs> mind photo dump. Like when men, do, I don't mind that. Like, but yeah. if you had a good month, like you know, maybe you traveled, maybe yeah. you went to a game, maybe you know, yeah, you know, you had a good meal. Like, I don't mind a meal, but if it's just like different photos of you, then um, I'm like, of you, yeah. Like it's just like different selfies. Like February dump is just different selfies of him and of different. You. Everything's of you. Yeah. yeah. No. I don't like how serious. <laughs> I don't like how serious people take Instagram though. Like, I, I like Insta. I rem- I like. Says Old the content Instagram. creator. <laughs> right? Like, what? Yeah, but I'll just post. Like, some people literally will not post unless, like, the picture is oh, on point. Right, like, right, I will right. just post things. Some people are, like, they're not on that. The that is not has to true. Be You're posting way. good pictures. Like, everyone's posting good pictures on Instagram. Yes, You're not going to post a photo that's, like, not fire. No, but you could post a photo that you, like, you like the photo, but it's not, like. Some people are only posting photos that are, like, A1. It's edited. The lighting looks proper. My fit is proper. Like everything mm. is checked off. Like yeah, she said, I'm busy. I'm busy. I gotta deep. go to a photo shoot. I'm like, you got, you got 300 followers. Who said that? Not just people and like women. Oh, like, like, oh. But it all used to this, be this like is that. My yearly word. picture. I gotta go do a photo shoot. Like what? You used to just document yourself though. Mm. You know, yeah. like yeah. your ongoings and everything. Like LeBron's yeah. Instagram. Oh, back in the LeBron day. LeBron yeah. used to post pictures of him at the dentist, like mid cleaning. Him on the plane, him beside people sleeping on the plane. That's how you're supposed to use Instagram. Well, Instagram, like the name of Instagram was to like take a picture and upload it instantly. Like it's Insta as instant. So it's like, yeah, you take a picture in the moment and you gram it. Like that's where the whole name came from. But we lost the essence. We did lose the essence a little bit. I mean, Rihanna used to be crazy on Instagram too. She did. Yeah. Yeah, Rihanna used to be wild on Instagram, like posting her titties and things. Real moment, like I think people forget, like how like Rihanna used to be like nude all the time, facts, and like not in a bad way. She would willingly like just be like on a beach, like topless, and like, like post it. And you're like, okay, <laughs> like That's she was that was in bad. general. You remember when she was like dissing Sierra and shit? Yeah, when remember when she posted Good her luck net worth that stage? Yeah, yeah, it was her her net worth versus Sierra's net worth, and she put it as her header. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that on woman. Twitter. She's I amazing. like I feel like celebrity needs to just be like. Petty real again. people, yeah, just be that. real people, human and nasty again. Like mm-hmm. that but stuff the, is but so much more But the internet wouldn't exciting. let them. The internet holds celebrities to such a high regard that, like, it makes no sense, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp can't even get out of the like, uh, <laughs> truck without just the internet lighting <laughs> them up. So what was the problem up? with Shannon Sharp getting out of the truck? People were just what saying people he saying? was just standing he sus. Was, he was walking very sus, and then he what do you mean sus? Like he what? Like I mean, uh, you know what sus means? I know, but like, what was what? So what like about his, it? Like, his legs were this way, and he was like hand on the hip. Like it was very extra. Okay, looking th- like you. Were, and then he did what's that move where you went like this? Like <laughs> do it again. Like, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> like what? What move is that? He's, uh, like he was he was at, isn't, that, isn't that a dance? Yeah, he did that out of nowhere. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> I haven't seen that in since like 2012. Yeah, I'm I, I 2012? sure hit one of those during the, the Super drop? Bowl performance. No, he didn't. With what he just did with his hands, <laughs> what he drop? Did People didn't I'm do not gonna drop <laughs> since like 2011. No, it was not that. That far. was in the Nay Nay and Yeet mm-hmm. and Whip era. Them <laughs> folks, and he used to glitch yeah. and come back. <laughs> no, no, no! I've never seen the glitch. You've never seen the glitch. Glitch. Yeah, yeah. The glitch Guys. on the drop. The. 
Ew! I've never seen I've never Oh, you guys weren't dancers. Right. You guys weren't dancers. Shazor, back in the days, I don't know about now. You when you went dancers. out, you were a dancing ass nigga. I definitely was. I for so, sure was. Why why did you stop? I got older. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a multitude of things. One, yeah. I got older. Right. I don't feel like it. Yeah. And um, real you kind of get like, you start to feel the repercussions for your mm. actions because now it sets a standard for right. where you go out. And like people expect this of you. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. 100%. So you kind of just have to cut it cold turkey. I agree. So people are like, yo, just sorry, do that. <laughs> no, it's just certain. Like, no, glitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell? No, it would more so be like, Songs that people know I like to dance to when they come on, people would just like <laughs> phone out, look at me, and I'm standing there like Summer Walker on the carpet. Like, I wasn't trying to dance today. And so, hear, hear me out about so this. Like, yeah. Do you, do you ad- adhere to the theory that, you know, back when you're trying to pull some shit back home type shit, right? Do you adhere to the theory that it's much easier to do that if you're not the dancing ass nigga? Compared uh, to if you're the cool nigga in the back just striking calm. Nah, I wouldn't say so. I know a lot of people and like a lot of girls say they don't like the dancer guy and a lot of guys <laughs> say like the dancer guy is lame. I don't agree okay. at all. Yeah. I definitely don't. Yeah. I definitely don't agree. It depends on the you as a person. Like, mm. cause you could as long as you don't sweat. Oh yeah, yeah. you can't go too. <laughs> no, I, can't, I can't be the dancing guy. There's a, there's yeah, also a few rules yeah. as like the dancer guy when you know you're going too hard. Like you can't. Leave the ground, <laughs> and you can't touch the ground. You can't. Got you. I got so, you. So like, you can't do Damn. anything. <laughs> like you can't do anything where you're like jumping in yeah. the sky, and you can't do anything where you're going on the ground. As long as you stay within like the yeah. confines, and like you, you can't go past with your wingspan, right? Because now you're gonna hit someone. Hitting and it's, people, then that's it's, bad. This woman, like when the dancer yeah. starts like to hit people, yeah. and it gets obnoxious. <laughs> That's it was bad. it was bad during that fucking shoot. Oh the shoot! Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, the shoot! Yo. Yo. yo yo! I never seen someone shooting the club the way that like, Christoph was <laughs> shooting in the club. <laughs> the shoot! Yeah, yeah, oh my shoot. god! I'm sorry. I, just, no, no I definitely. What used do you shoot. mean? Like there shouldn't be collateral damage. I, to I feel shoot. like the dab <laughs> took up a lot of space too. Like, the dab? No, the dab was nah. like no white people dabbing. No, the oh. dab took up a lot of space. If you know, you yeah. could cool dab. The but cool dab was right, fine. Cool dab. Dab. You're not fully extending your arms nah, on the dab. I knew white, guys white who were, were fully yeah. dab. Really? <laughs> dab. Nah, you can't dab with two arms. I've seen dab it. with two arms is crazy. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it too. That's black a Superman man. pose. Yeah. That's fusion hop. Huh? What is that? I've seen multiple black men in the club dab oh arm out God. this arm. That's crazy. And yeah. then switch it. Oh, oh yeah. The, the rapid fire Flair dab. <laughs> the rapid fire dab was The dab, bad, I think, is one of the worst that's, dances that's the in the worst thing. The worst? The, so, the dab. Okay. The dab was terrible. So what's the... It was, it was a cool... Was it? I think it was nah. a cool... Cam Newton made it really cool. It could be self though. Yeah, it was a cool little action. Look at my dab. Like, that's fire. I think Dab is one of the worst dances. It was a cool little Cam Newton would get a touchdown and then he would like do it. Like, it was like, no, I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not a Dab. I wasn't a Dab fan. What were you dancing? I love a she, Dougie. What? A Dougie. I feel yeah. you. I love a Dougie. Because you can sexy like Dougie. Yeah, you, you can, can cool Dougie. Yeah. Were you, uh, you can, oh, Dougie. You can, it's so versatile. What about? Like, what are you talking about? What you about? still whip it out? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, ah, Dougie. You whip it I out. I could do it, but I don't if do they play, it. Teach me how to Dougie at oh, 1 yeah. If they play clear it. Clear the area. No, not clear the area. No? I mean, I'll hit it in the back a little, you know? But I'm saying like, I'm not clearing the area for What about hit them folks? I kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. That was a universal like it, one. It was a cool one, but, but hit them folks can definitely get out of hand as well, it too. Could, could, yeah, because yeah. men had, like, the legs up, yeah. head tilted, <laughs> arms smacking yeah, yeah, yeah. to the side. Yeah, it's like the leg, up, like, here. Yeah, leg, off the, leg up here. The, the air punch into the hit them folks, the, that, like, it gets... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Hit the folks. I think was yeah. Hit the folks needed space. Like some guys. They needed space. There's a video of Shaq doing it. That that's when it. I gotta find it. It's hold on. Hit the Please. folks was nuts. The space you needed. Some guys like you needed the whole room for them to hit the folks. There was some dances though that I don't know how it like. What about the cat daddy? It got legs. Oh, I cat like cat daddy. Cat, cat daddy is like cat a daddy. version of the like. It's an offspring of the Dougie. That's fine. I, I don't know how Nay Naying got to the level that it was. Nay Naying is male twerking. That's what that is. 
Well, you really think about what the nene is. How? Look, think about it. And you get low? What you doing after? What you doing with your hips? When you go like that, you you're get low. Weaving them side nah. to side, that's but you're not you're, popping that's them. That's because you're Congolese. You're not that's popping it. <laughs> that's why you think it's not twerking. When you go like this, what you do after? But your whole body's moving. It's not just your hips. Your hips are moving. You have, you have to like nah, whole nah, body see? it. Stand up with it right now. You have to <laughs> stand. Put put it up. You have to ah, what you got? Ah, get into it. <laughs> get get it. Nah, 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 nah. Get <laughs> If you, cause you're being stiff right now. You're being stiff. When you really get into it, nah, you. Yes, yeah, see, that's, that's not twerking. <laughs> it's some. It's something. You get when they get low with it. Mm. I, yeah. could, I, could, yeah. I could do it. I could do it. Yeah. Oh no, I'll say. Mm. I'll say no, no, no. I'll say uh. Uh-uh. I'll say no. Nah, that was the wrong noise. I'll say uh uh-uh. uh. We got I'll him again. Say, uh-uh. I was. <laughs> I was, <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't a thirsty noise. That was a fed up noise. That was a wrong noise. That was a wrong noise. I was trying to say. Mm-mm. Uh, right. Man sounded like Mariah the scientist. I sounded like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was trying to say. Mm-mm. I was trying to say. Mm-mm. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, you made that noise through your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Nah. Oh. Nene was wild. Anyways. Yeah, there's definitely levels. The fact you hit the Nene four times in a row just now. <laughs> if you're out here watching this on YouTube, I hope you guys suck. I haven't done Shout a Nene since. YouTube viewership 5,000. I haven't done a Nene, Nene since right. like 2017. Yeah. We'll make that a clip because that was nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't done the Nene since <laughs> 2017. Who just want to say, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to say, as a, as a non-dancing nigga, the, the dem folks was really easy for the non-dancing dude. It's like on beat. Like, it's just... Yeah. Like, it's you want to know something? Mixed people yeah. can either... <laughs> Sorry. Go. I, God. Go. I don't know. Like you can be sitting down we're, and hear the song, way, and on the drop, We're you can way just off be... our topic list, but since we're here, we're here. Okay. Mixed people, if you're half white and half black, usually. Usually if you're half Indian or half black, because Indian people got rhythm, black people got rhythm, you know. If you're half Indian and half black, you usually kind of got it. Or the Filipinos. Or, yeah, if you're half Filipinos, Filipinos black, oh, dance. yeah, nice. Yeah, for sure. Once the Caucasian gene hits some of y'all, <laughs> it's like, I know a lot of people, but yo, y'all cannot catch a rhythm. <laughs> well, that's why I'm saying the dem folks is easy. It's one beat, like it's just the last one. And it's you know? interesting to see, because I have, I have a lot of mixed friends, and some of them I'm like, huh, mm-hmm. like you are, you are struggling over there. Yeah. The white is just jumping out past the mixed curls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the white is jumping through the 3C, and you are just struggling in that corner. <laughs> Can't give a bubble, can't get low, nothing. Huh? No, no, no. no. You need like a four type hair to have rhythm. (laughs) I I feel it. What hair texture gives you rhythm? (laughs) Yeah, at least I wouldn't say the hair texture. I think it's definitely what type you're mixed with. Yeah, Yeah. I generally think white people don't have or like they don't. I don't know if they. You heard about the theory though, to what they dance to and to what we dance to. It's a what different is it? count. They it's dance to the lyrics. Yeah, they dance yeah. the lyric or the melody, and then we dance the drum pattern. And oh, is that what it is? And, and mm-hmm. even if you're you're both dancing to the drum pattern, white people dance to a different count mm. than we do. So and this is, is real. Like, this is not even like I'm not even making this up. When I was on S trip emceeing, the DJ was white, and he used to always tell me that he noticed like. If a drop or something was happening, that like when I would be jumping up, he would be going down. Mm. So like I would be jumping on the one and the three, and he'd be jumping on the two and the four. So oh. that could kind of be like get mixed up if you're trying to dance, but you're dancing to a different rhythm than we would be dancing mm. to. But what we dance to makes sense though. Yeah, <laughs> like so, but I guess that, that's why they love it. I guess maybe for. EDM music and is that why EDM music? music sometimes is it be a random dude in a wobble voice telling you when the drop is <laughs> <laughs> to catch it ready for the drop yeah. <laughs> that makes sense that makes sense that makes sense but even just the way we jump is different like we kind of jump down into the ground and they jump up into the ground what do you mean huh? Say it again. jump up like, into Alex the Lynn. ground like we jump we jump down into the ground. And they try to jump up into okay, the air. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah oh, you know what's funny yeah. about like that? Like when we jump, like if you notice a rapper on yeah. stage, when they jump, you jump and you stomp. Okay. White people, like they're jumping and they're jumping up, like to 
you know, raise the roof. Fam, <laughs> okay. no, no cap. Last weekend, City Boys played the song by Burner Boy. It's the famous thing. Uh, the life of a city boy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same shit happened. White people were next to me doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't get the... It's so sad. It was the second time the hook happened. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got it now. <laughs> yeah. That's real. Yeah, That's real. I think it's definitely... And I don't want to call it an imbalance, but it's something in the brain that prohibits them from doing things on beat. Could be. It has to be. Because there's no. It's not, it's not like a coincidence anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, this has to be in y'all brain. Because why is it only y'all that can't get it? Too much sample size. Like, I used to dance Bhangra. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yes, I did. Really? I'm but, from Brampton. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a... Com- guys, oh, this, are we getting... Like, this is an intimate moment. I was Let's a competitive Bhangra dancer. What? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Till when? Competitive, guys. Like, I Till went to, when? Like, <laughs> 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 Where is the footage? I, I, I definitely have pictures. So this is what you're show us coming out later. That's I'll fire. see if I can find them. But there's definitely pictures. Mm. Yeah, Miss, her name was Miss Purry. Mm. She was our bunker teacher, and we used to like do com- <laughs> cast. <please. laughs> we used to do competitive bunker dancing. Like I used to be like on stage barefoot. Yo, that. that's, that's something that's a beautiful cultural exchange. It's something it about Brampton where like everyone that grew up in Brampton at some point in their life learned another culture's dance. That's okay. Because my about homie it. Morris will not shut up about how he was in Latin fusion in elementary <laughs> school. <laughs> what does that mean? What, like dancing? It was or the like... name of the dance club, like the Spanish dance club okay. called Latin Fusion. And he talks about that to this day. <laughs> to this day. He yeah. probably brings it up with all the Latina girls. Probably he brings it up around Can he anybody. Bachata? Around anybody, I haven't seen him do it in a while, but <laughs> That's he probably still got. I feel it. like Morris is way too big to dance. Morris is different one. If Morris is dancing, you got to be out the room. He's yeah. not. He's not a grooving gorilla. Yeah, he's not going <laughs> yeah, like crazy like that. That's what I thought as soon as yeah, he's, he's too he's big not, to dance. He's a tall Yo. guy, right? Yeah, he's yeah. tall and broad. He doesn't go as crazy as grooving gorilla though. No, but I feel like Morris is a big guy that if he hit the folks, like you need to give him room. <laughs> like <laughs> Morris is tall and he's like. Yeah, <laughs> like I feel like if he were to like, like yeah. he can't he can't jump or get low. Nah, nah. He can't nay nay. Like he can't do what your sword just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like he's he too big. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. But anyways, yeah, I think listen, man, Bunger was my thing. That's fire. That's like Brampton excellence right there. <laughs> but I think <laughs> I think another reason why white people might, <laughs> or at least like American white people like first generation or second generation I think white people is because if you're just like American white what is the the culture of dance that you are like learning from young line dancing. line dancing yeah. I was gonna say yeah but that's not really a, da- a t- style of dance that you can integrate in your daily life no it's not a freestyle individual dance they don't have any of that yeah that's what I'm saying it's different like if you're if you're like, um, <laughs> their dancers have a plan and set up. Say and like, everything. Korea, it's yeah. different if you're like one of them Eastern European countries, like Russia and stuff. Like they be dancing, like yeah, yeah. they yeah. dance. They but if you're like dance. Canadian or your family's American mm-hmm. or even like English, like they don't really have dancey dancey type of stuff. So what's Jamaican's cultural dance? Bubbling? Dance? Da- what do you mean? No, it's not. It's not a specific style of dance, but like your culture dances. Yeah, no, we definitely have a no. We have definitely a cultural style of dancing. I don't really know. I guess you can call dance hall the. Would you call dance hall the style? Um, sure. Yeah. Like, well, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know why I'm asking you. That. <laughs> You're faking. I don't know why I'm asking you. Jamaican expert. There's moves. There's dance hall moves, but I don't think it's exclusive to dance Me hall a bomb. music. Huh? Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of like. <laughs> A lot of dance hall like movement. Oh my gosh! Oh my you guys, you guys, you guys' expertise is freestyle choreography. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's we could pick up, yeah. and that's, that's something you learn from young. You see Why? someone do something, and you join in on it. You learn it quickly, and now yeah. you guys are all in the line. You guys go like a millisecond behind. That's one thing you I'm just really pick good it up. at. That's one thing Fire. I'm really good at. If I see a group doing a dance, mm-hmm. give me like. 25 seconds. That's how I learned. Let me see them do it twice, and then I'm in. That's how I learned how to Cupid Shuffle and... Um, yeah. Electric Slide. Uh, electric Slide. And Cupid what's the shuffle, other one? The, the Step African in the Name of Love. 
African Kelly, one? sorry. I'm a fake African. I, you know, I <laughs> What's the one to the African song? Yeah, the Jerusalem one. Uh, Jerusalem, I know the Where song. Where you do the, the, the four, and then you dip, and you do all that stuff. Don't ask me. The Burner Boy, the... Do, 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 do. No. When did Jerusalem oh. drop? <laughs> Last five years, I think. It What's that Burner Boy one? He, bro- he did it when he was here. Huh? Uh, what's that dance? The the Burner Boy one. The step, then you switch, then you gonna. Uh, what's the, the dance? I don't know. The burn. He performed it. I didn't see. I don't know. Were you not there? It might be the like, same no, one. Weekends ago, I wasn't there. Oh. It might be the same one we're talking about. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that one. Oh, the Jerusalem uh, one. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's the same one. That one's fire. I know. How so, I picked yeah. that one up quick. Yeah. That one was good, but um. Oh my God! What was the other topic I had that slipped my mind? We did Freak Mill. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, what was the other topic I had? I know you wanted to do Love is Blind. But oh yeah, Love is Blind. Yeah. Everyone's kind of caught up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Broad okay. strokes. Br- what? <laughs> I, know, I know the broad strokes. Okay, so like the basics, the yeah, foundation. Okay, cool. So I think the finale is dropping this week. It's either dropping today or tomorrow. Some episodes drop tomorrow. I think two episodes drop tomorrow. So the, those are the finale episodes then? Is it? Yeah. Probably. Okay, perfect. So... We finally know that Chelsea looks like Megan Fox, yes, on Jay Leno's head. <laughs> <laughs> that is confirmed. I'll give her I that. I can see it. Because right. someone did a TikTok, which I did share. And yes. honestly, that, t- that story got like 1,500 views. People were, I think if you were sending it, people were like, yo. I'm like, yo, who, whatever girl made that TikTok, girl, or I don't know if it was a man or a woman, yeah. and put Megan Fox's face on Jay Leno's head. Mm-hmm. And then put Chelsea beside. That is it. She cracked the code. That's what we know. Yes. She settled all the baits. Yes. Mm-hmm. Clay is the black one. Clay is black and also proposed to AD. So mm-hmm. they're, the, they're the. There's always a token black couple. Yeah. They're the token black couple. For yeah. sure. He is. She cannot. I hope she says no or he says no. I don't get good vibes from them. Oh, they're not compatible. You think? He's. I feel like he has a lot of stuff to work on because mm-hmm. his parents relationship had yeah. a lot of infidelity family yeah. issues he like takes it down with him and he mm. keeps bringing up the fact that he doesn't want to cheat on her mm. but if someone keeps telling you i don't want to cheat on you that's hilarious <laughs> yeah. can't help it if yeah. someone keeps Funny. telling listen like i love you but i don't mm. want to cheat on you it's like cheating is like the green goblin mask yeah <laughs> yeah like imagine yeah. someone said like i don't want to hit you but yeah. yeah exactly like yo like i love you, you. Don't i don't want to hit you but it's like yo him. And and we were talking about this yesterday where it's like he's one of those dudes where it's like he just word vomits and I think and I've been said this so many times that like if you have things in your relationship that you like need to talk through, like I don't think you should word vomit to the other person in your relationship mm. because that like they're gonna hold on to like that first thing that you said, even if you're trying to talk through your emotions. Yeah. So him saying, yeah, you know, like I I, I don't want to cheat on her and whatever. Maybe if you're talking to your homies and you're like, yo, you know, like I'm scared. I don't want to cheat on her. And ah, 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 mm. your friend might be might just be able to talk you through that. Be like, okay, but you're really just taking on yeah. your parents. Whatever. How do you whatever. really you, feel? Yeah. Like mm. you don't really. Like, you're not, you don't think you're going to cheat on her. You just don't want to end up like your parents. Yeah. That's more so what you're trying to say. I don't want to end up like my parents. It's not, I'm scared I'm going to cheat on you. Okay, but well, if he you needs- tell that to her, yeah. she's going to think that you, you're you already premeditating the cheat. Yeah. And you can't that's say how, that. That's how I would take it. Like, and you I would have been like, well, then. That. It's how it sounds, but that, yeah. Yeah, yeah if like he's, if someone's, you're right. If he was like, yo, I don't want to end yeah. up like my parents. I saw it happen. That's not how I want my future to be. I want to be in a relationship. That's fine. You telling me multiple times, you'll listen, like, you're great. This is amazing. I believe in black love. I love P. Diddy. I love Will Smith. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. Use those examples. What? Oh, I thought you were trolling. <laughs> they, didn't, no. they didn't age well. Yeah, and he's oh, like, yeah, that's, that's, both that's, of them. Like, that's before, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. before yeah. the catastrophes. Yeah. And he do said, you, do you think AD um, likes attention? What do you mean? Do you think AD likes attention? Like when she talks to people or like when the other dudes are talking to her, she kind of like has a little twinkle in her eye or like I'm when sure. they compliment her. Yeah, she maybe. Kinda, Cause that's, that's been a, a common thing that's been said also that they notice that like when the other dudes talk to AD, she kind of like, and, and it might seem like the guys are, are like, giving her some energy. She mm. she receives it and she mm. reciprocates it. So is that a bad thing? Like, dude. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it a bad thing if a woman likes attention? 
Uh, I mean, everybody likes no, attention. Yeah, attention. Yeah, attention. Everybody attention. Attention. Degree, right? attention. attention starved, which is what he's implying. Yeah. yeah. It's to a degree. And it's like, why do you need, like, you like the attention from everybody? I see that. Like, you can say that she's entertaining in that sense, yeah. right? Like, mm. if she's reciprocating, then she's entertaining it, right? Because, like, why yeah, is the I man... I feel like y'all have a very fine line. I don't think she's enter... <laughs> like, y- like, I think, yes, she likes... I don't think she's entertaining. Yes, I yeah. think she likes attention, sure. But I don't think she's entertaining these men, though. I, would, I wouldn't say that. I think there's certain nuances that I, I change it. Because it's like, when the man's talking to you... Why are you so locked in his eyes? Oh, my God. Like, now we can't make eye contact? No, there's a difference between eye contact and being <laughs> locked in someone's eyes. There what? Is, there is a difference. There is a difference. The, we're talking to each other right now. Yeah. We're just having eye contact. But if we're standing up and you're looking up at me like this and do not break eye contact and the way you're looking at me is like you're very like locked in, that's different. <laughs> just nah, it's real. It's, it's real. true. And flirting, I, flirting is eighty percent body language. Isn't that how y'all say y'all flirt? Yeah, by making eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> if flirting is eighty <laughs> percent body language, <laughs> then then oh, like gosh. yeah, like what do we? But that's not eye contact. That's the sexy look, though. There's a difference. I have so yeah, I, I kind of see yeah, what you mean, where it's like, yeah, locked does in, that. like. Or even when who was she talking to? Was it Jeremy or was it the other dude? It was initially at the beginning, the one who said that she had a nice body. Jimmy. Jimmy, when she was talking to Jimmy, and then she went over and spun around, like Jimmy spun her around. And no, Jimmy didn't spin her around though. That didn't happen. I, well, she did spun. You see? She, she did spun. A she did a three sixty. She entertaining. I don't know who initiated the 360, but she did a 360. That's a B-O-D-Y? Well, my <laughs> so my thing is, so in the show, Jimmy, and this is also kind of stupid, because it, you have to kind of know, and like that's, this is a different thing, or the hard thing with Love is Blind, because yes, you know your man, but you don't know your man. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you've talked to a, through a wall for two weeks. Yeah. You have coffee, but, but you don't know your man mm-hmm. the way you would if you like naturally dated in real life, per se, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, the, when he went to his fiance, when Jimmy went to Chelsea, the Jay Leno, Megan Fox, and was <laughs> like, oh, yo, like, AD got, like, she's stacked. Like, because AD's, her body's crazy. Like, she has a really nice body. Like, her ass is fat. Mm. She's shaped good. She has the womb wham. Yeah. So, he goes to his wife, like, yo, like, yo, AD got ass, basically. Okay. And his wife was like, oh, my, and his wife, like, called, like, oh, my God, AD, like, Jimmy she's says, like, yeah, like, yeah like, you're like, you, your, your ass looks good, blah, blah, blah. And whatever. Mm. And then, like, AD kind of turned around sad. and, like, gave a little, like, wine, like, mm. oh, yeah. And that part, I was like, okay, girl, now, and then now. He went over, and then he went over and they started to having a conversation Ooh. and now she's in the back by the bar looking sad. <laughs> yeah. Chelsea is? Yeah. yeah. Chelsea, she was in Megan the back Fox, by the Jaylen. bar looking sad. <laughs> While yeah, they nobody were cares a about Chelsea. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> I agree, and I think Chelsea knows she looks like Megan Fox and Jay Leno because she <laughs> she's genuinely insecure. She's very insecure. She's and she knows her chin is giving Natalie and Jay Leno because mm. she genuinely <laughs> like to her core. You is say it, this with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> because like. She really d- like Yeah, she does. She does. To really yeah. just lie and say you look like one of the top like women well, crush Wednesdays. In, in Chelsea's defense, she never lied. She said <laughs> people say I look like Megan Fox. <laughs> and I could see people saying that. If they take away her chin and forehead. <laughs> but she Yeah, like, maybe all in she like hears, a, all she hears is, you Megan know who Fox. you look like? Mm. And then she internalizes yeah, maybe that. in like a COVID mask and like a toque. God Lee. <laughs> Oh, but the chin was still show yeah, under the COVID chin, mask. Yeah. Her chin's long. Nah. You know? No offense. Her chin's long. When you stretch out like the that. COVID mask, there's dudes like what? They always got to wear a hat or a bandana. Band- Chelsea- oh, ha- Chelsea would Never be. Never seen KSI? Men in a bandana is yeah. nuts. You don't like bandanas? On your head? Where else are you putting them? In what your you- pocket? But what do you mean? Am I band- a crip? What do you mean bandana on your head? Like tied like what? Like on Jemima? <laughs> what? No, not the Harriet Tubman bandana, like a regular bandana. You roll it up regularly and you tie it. I don't like that. No, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Anjumama mama style or Tropic Thunder style. But you know how Ch- Chelsea would look good with a with a shiesty mask on, though. <laughs> she has nice eyes. She does. She, she does have nice eyes. Get this part. <laughs> yeah. 
She does have nice, but that's why I said COVID <laughs> mask <laughs> too. That's true. That's true. She has nice eyes. The, she, I'll yeah. give her if you take her eyes. Yeah, though some people they just gotta. No, I can't stand that. I don't want no man. That I don't trust men who don't just like. Why can't your head show? What's wrong? What's wrong? I mean, even me, I can't trust these guys. Do we, do we want to go down shows. this route? Because. It we don't. We get don't. Problematic. We don't need reversal, man. Here, we don't. It can get problematic because <laughs> if you're asking us why our head doesn't show, why? what are you asking us about? Why sometimes? Oh no! Why did you look at my hair? There's for? a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of false hair that doesn't that people don't know is false. That I, people jack like it's real. Why are you looking at me for, bitch? I, I know. I'm I have talking extensions. to you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but you keep looking at my hairline. Like this is real. This is my hair. No, I, I can see. Oh, okay. I can see your scalp. I know that's <laughs> okay. Because I'm like, <laughs> and there's you know, nothing worse. I like is going up. I'm like, nigga, I can see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and there's nothing like worse. Crazy. There's nothing worse because I don't mind like if a girl has fake hair, like a wig or weave or whatever. I don't care. Okay. When it looks bad, <laughs> that's when it gets kind of like. Yeah. But do men Don't know when it go looks back bad? To the home you can you can see it lift like when you can <laughs> see like the lace <laughs> part, and it's so hard to not look at. Like I'm trying to look in your eye, but it's like my eye keeps going up yeah. to like to <laughs> see. <laughs> Why do you say see? Why do you extend the e? Like so as, you, like, you don't like when they create good. like a fake hairline. No, as long as it looks good, like if it's it blended good. properly, yeah. cool. Like. You can let it run as long as it's blended properly. When it's like not good, mm-hmm. I feel like that's kind of like like when a barber messes up your hairline, and mm-hmm. it's like you know it's there. That's a good comparison. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing you could do about it because it's like you're not laying your own wig, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can do your own wigs for sure. Oh, well, I guess some people do cut their own hair, give themselves trims. Yeah, you could definitely a lay your own wig. wig. Is like, your but do but do girls up. know like uh-huh. when their hair isn't like it's not on point that day? Like, would you so. know when yeah. you're having a bad hair day? For sure. I, I know. My hair's terrible today. I know that. It's just, <laughs> hair looks Stop crazy. looking at it. <laughs> like, it's trying to find the seam. Nah, but like when. There's no seam. What do you mean trying to find the seam, bitch? What the fuck does that mean? There's no seam. You said what, what, he's looking at it. Yeah. It's not a wig. I know, but it's like, what I don't know. But I do weird. envy the fact that women can change their hairstyle, like, just whenever they feel like it. Right. I, I wish we could do that. I just show up tomorrow with le- with dreads. Oh, yeah, I can't show up next episode with the Odell cut. Like it's. <laughs> I mean, the future in the future, man. I was gonna say to, yeah. you, you we're, technically we're like can. tomorrow. I have Mucho's hair. <laughs> you can just fire. get a, you can just get a wig, but it won't look like it won't look real. We haven't gotten to that technology yet. <laughs> but if you, I'm case. gonna end up looking like like who was it? Was it Terrence Howard in, in the, that movie? Yeah, 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 with the with the dread wig or Shamar Moore. <laughs> In yeah. Tyler, Tyler, Pre- what Tyler Perry movie was it? Your goal Shabar is Steve Moore? Harvey right? or Drake on Steve on Harvey. SNL? Yeah, what he had dreads on SNL? I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. Sh- I feel like Tyler Perry. Oh my god, we're talking about Tyler Perry movies. Mm-hmm. I feel like Tyler Perry, and we already know how I feel about Tyler Perry. I think he's going to hell, but. <laughs> That's a bit strong. So no, Ty- Tyler Perry's going to hell, but Wendy Williams is not. Wait, why are we? Why, how, how did Wendy that's Williams okay, get here? He's, he's waiting for your answer. How did Wendy Williams get in this? Because I mean, the shout out to her. She's going through a lot. Not right shout now, out, but, bitch. But you know what oh I, my god! But you, know, I, I was like, I was like, Wendy Williams evil. Her. You're like, oh, she's fine. But <laughs> Tyler Perry, why is that different? Tyler Perry, he's disguising himself as. Okay, listen. One thing I will say is Tyler Perry. You know, he he obviously is doing something right. Mm-hmm. If he, you know, is, can still put out movies in some way people watch them or whatever. But I just don't understand how Tyler Perry thrives in like black trauma. Mm. Like he just loves to put black trauma on the pedestal and like sell it. Like it's this thing that everyone wants to watch and be a part of. I hate that. And most, and I I don't like that. And most of his movies are rooted in black trauma. It's never. Did black you see the the checklist, yeah. the Tyler Perry movie checklist? No, I didn't. And it was what? the same. It was like um, bad wigs. No, it was like <laughs> yeah, it was like bad hair. Okay. Um, evil dark skin man, um, savior light skin man, domestic violence. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sexual random assault. white person, sex scene. Yeah. 
I think there might have been one more that I'm forgetting. And he never writes a second draft. Like you could, it just seems <laughs> like he just yeah. kind of writes from it, his diary, and then it's like they go and shoot it after because he's yeah. a billionaire and he has that lot in his backyard. So it's and like, this new yeah. movie that he put out, the Mia Culpa one with Kelly Rowland, I feel like Kelly Rowland, not even feel like Kelly Rowland was 100 percent the carrot, right? Mm. He can't. I was oh my god, Kelly Rowland's in a movie. You know, mm. she did press for it. She's talking about it. Blah, blah. She was the dangling carrot for this movie. Let's dangle fine ass Kelly Rowland around Hollywood and whatever, whatever. And she's going to promote this movie. And everyone loves Kelly Rowland because she's close to Beyonce and Destiny's Child and she's beautiful. She's building a name for herself. It's her independence, her breakout moment. That was, and everyone's like, oh my god, it's on Netflix. It's accessible. Let's all watch it. First of all, I was not, I got finessed into watching it. <laughs> I still have I was watched not. It. Trying to watch that movie. Right. He, I got finessed into watching it. Mm-hmm. Didn't finish it. But you know, like now it's like, bro, I got to see the ending. Cause like, what the hell? We already watched it. So yeah. I'm waiting to watch the last 40 minutes. But from what I saw, I was like, I don't, I don't understand. Trevante Rhodes is, he's black excellence. He okay. looks, and on a, he looks tell, good, but I, did it, he, he looks good. Good role. I mean, he he's from Moonlight. Do you remember the movie Moonlight? He didn't have yeah, like a big. I didn't big watch it, but yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it. A lot of men didn't watch it because it's you know. Nah, I'll, I'll watch gay <laughs> shit, but I didn't. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch that one. That. I just didn't watch <laughs> that movie. <laughs> I'm saying, I haven't seen Get Out either, but like Get Out's not gay. I know, but does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh but does God. that mean I don't watch interracial movies? That's not what that means. Okay, I see what you mean. Like, okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. But I think I know a lot of men are like, oh, I don't want to watch. Movies. Like, Brokeback Mountain, <laughs> Moonlight. A lot of straight men are not watching Brokeback <laughs> Mountain. A lot of straight men are not watching Moonlight. I haven't That's watched true. either. Exactly. I watch Frasier. I watch Frasier. <laughs> Stop saying. There's Is a gay Frasier character, gay? But, there's, but it's not a... Did you like, watch Will and Grace? No. Okay. <laughs> My mom used to watch it. I watched I would Ellen. Modern Family. I love yeah, Modern, Modern Family. Modern Family was great. I don't know if I'm really counting. Yeah, Modern Family is just the perfect cast. I have gay friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like Modern Family, it, yes, there was obviously a really good gay storyline there, but it's I don't think it counts as like a, a gay, like Will and Grace, it was like, it was about a gay yeah. man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Brokeback Mountain is about, I don't know, not a gay couple, I don't know if gay men but who Will have and an Gra- affair. Did Will and Grace like, Hit like that though. I liked Will and Grace. I don't. I wouldn't put it in like. I didn't like love it. I would not put it. I wouldn't even put it in like top ten white. No, I wouldn't put it top ten either. But it's not bad. And anyways, it's definitely lower on the rank of even that realm. (laughs) Sure. No, shout out to Moonlight. I'll I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Yeah, Moonlight's not a and like it's not a great movie. I heard. Yeah. Yeah, I think Brokeback Mountain has very more explicit scenes compared to (laughs) and not in a bad way like there are explicit more explicit scenes compared to moonlight like moonlight's not it's more about like the story of like a young black kid realizing he's gay but being born in like the hood type thing it's honestly a really good story it won the oscar for like best film remember it was like a big debacle because they thought it was uh la la land Land, then turned out to be moonlight but whatever Mm. he's from moonlight Mm -hmm. and i think he's done some other movies i don't know what but whatever so he's in this mia culpa film and I feel like also Tyler Perry just because he's an attractive man. Tyler Perry had a crush on him, potentially, mm. and I feel like Tyler Perry just used lives vicariously. Yes, uh. yes, he like tried to like display his sexual fantasies in this movie. Oh, uh, okay. Because like, I think he does that with every. He's the living, breathing of yeah. that word. Like yeah. everything he does is. So and is like, he Kelly in this situation or Trevante? <laughs> I don't know, and I'm not going okay, there. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm just like, what? Why? Why is he acting like like Tyler Perry has the Apple Vision Pros on, and he's like in the movie doing stuff himself? I mean, like he has the glasses on, and he's. <laughs> that's funny. That's a really good analogy. I don't know, but regardless, then the the what's it called? The notable or like the well known scene in the movies where they have sex in the paint. Mm. You in, see the paint? in the paint. You didn't see the okay. clip. The, the clip went viral on Twitter. And you didn't yeah, yeah. see it? You I didn't click see? on it, but I... I, I yeah. didn't click on it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I got like so, a little... I think it's like up to that I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it there's a scene... They're rolling around in paint? There's yeah. a scene in the movie, because he's Is an artist. Is that sanitary? No, it's not. Can't be. There's a scene in the movie, he's an artist, and finally him and Kelly... This is a spoiler alert, if you're going to watch it, <laughs> feel free. Yeah. There's a scene where him and Kelly finally do the deed, mm-hmm. and because he's an artist, he like puts a canvas down and like she gets naked. He's like pouring paint on her, pouring paint on himself. And then they get to like 
clapping cheeks time mm. and they're like having sex and like in the paint. But like it's a bird's eye view. He's on top of her. So you're just seeing that. So body. all yours, yeah. So you're just seeing him. They love just- showing <laughs> man body. Like it's always some dude's tushy on screen, bro. Okay. You want to make it in Hollywood? <laughs> he anyway. could have chose any POV. <laughs> yeah, Word. Agreed. Agreed. But it Close was up. <laughs> just show her face from a bird's eye view. Yeah. You have to show his nyash. I'm a kid watching Destiny's Child. Like I can't wait. Yeah. And yeah. that's what he does? It's funny because the person I watched it with was like, yo, like, why wasn't Kelly the star of this scene? Like, why was it? <laughs> but anyway, so it's a bird's eye view of them having sex on the canvas in the paint. And obviously, he's on top. So it's his bum. like Covered in white paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm just seeing white, black man body <laughs> on screen. So you've seen this? No, I'm oh, trying to just, okay. paint the picture. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't white paint It was colorful, it was colorful. But it was funny Because someone tweeted They were like Bro like Tyler Perry's a sicko Like they got this man Got paint in his ass crack And I watched the scene again And I was like Yo they actually Like the paint is dead ass Going down his ass crack You think that was like Intentional like, They we, knew we what need they were more paint on the crack <laughs> Yeah, there's somebody on set. They knew what they like, were doing. No, it's not right yet. They that's knew what it. they were doing. There was somebody. It was Tyler Perry. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Have you seen that episode but of Atlanta? What episode of Atlanta? Where it's all about Tyler Perry and it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. Maybe it made me think of that when they like, go to his yeah. studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it like the chocolate man or something like that or something like Mr. The, chocolate Mr. or something? something? Yeah, yeah. 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 The <laughs> and he talks over the intercom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what episode that is. He's but got this regardless. Typewriter the long ass thing. So, anyways, Travante Rhodes plays this like sexy character who's like straightforward. Like, you know, like the men who like don't break eye contact and like tell you that you're nervous type. He's like that type. And now he's doing like press for the movie, like after, like post press. And like he's doing interviews with women where he's like, yeah, like. I'll leave it to your imagination. Like, look at you. And people are like, yo, he can't get out of this character. Oh. Like, like he's seeing how much attention this character has brought him to be like this like sex symbol. Oh. And now he can't break out. That's sad because he's like a good actor. Is what yeah, but I don't. Think, my so he's like Heath like, Ledger in the Joker. Like he just is in love with the role. Method yeah, acting too but far. have we do? Have, have we seen it before where like men have that one role? Yeah. That you know, I feel like uh, most men who are like considered sex symbols had that one role oh, mm-hmm. or that one scene that like okay, that was it. That's like okay, we all think this man is set. like Halle Berry. It's the scene and was it 007 where she's in that bikini and she comes mm-hmm. from the water. Mm-hmm. Like that, I think was like so, like okay, like she's the one or the, the is it was it 007 was a Monsters Ball. Monsters Ball. I know that she was in that. But and her know. and Billy Bob Thornton had that sex scene that was wild. Right. Yeah. So I think that's what like solidified Halle Berry. As Did the Halle sexist. Berry and and uh, Jamie Fox date? Jamie Fox doesn't date black women. <laughs> I saw a picture. <laughs> he doesn't. I saw a whole carousel of Jamie Fox on stage accepting an award, tonguing down Halle Berry. Jamie Fox? Yes. Look it up. He's grabbing Tush, and she's tonguing him down on stage. I remember a- seeing. Uh, a clip of Halle Berry tonguing down someone. But was it Jamie Foxx? I saw Jamie Foxx. Oh. I think it was just like, yeah, like a thing. Mm. That's the type of gags they're doing? They used to kind of <laughs> do shit like that back in the day. Like for a televised down gag. Yeah, yeah. For televi- yeah, for television, they used to do. Yeah, it's like Shock Factor, right? That so what if you're... So what if Don you, and Drake, right? So what if you're dating um, like Jamie Foxx and, and he comes to you and he tells you that part of the script in the show is that he has to tongue down Halle Berry? Are you watching? I couldn't be. I don't think I could. After watching that Mia Culpa scene, I don't think I can uh, date an actor yeah. or an actress because, like, I know you're hard, bitch. So, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. So, like, like yes, Dancing you're Idris and, and Chloe Bailey in Swarm. Like, you're hard. You think he? You think he didn't have at least like a half chub? He definitely did. Yeah. He definitely did. She said in the interview they had a ball between them. I think something like that. So like it wasn't like mm. skin I think, to skin. Yeah, but regardless, like you can bubble a man. He's bricked. You're telling me, <laughs> freaking Chloe Bailey's big body. And I want to know like, like uh, and I want to know it's a room what full of people. Like what are they putting? That's true too. Yeah, you're it's right. Full of cold. people when you're bubbling. But like, what are they? Put- <laughs> That's <a> fact. <laughs> 
It's a, there's definitely a room full of people when you're bubbling. Mm-hmm. What are they putting over her like privates? Because if you're in that POV and you're dancing and you have to hold her like you're in Bacas, yeah. Even if a ball is in between you, how big is the ball that it doesn't show on screen but it covers her like booty hole and her cooch? It's a medium medicine ball. You something's it's showing. It's a medium medicine medicine ball. It's in the shape of it, yeah. But like mm. something is showing. You're either staring at. Maybe like, she has like something like. In, like not like taped, but like I don't know something like cupped the coochie area. Man, all that shit sounds like PR, bro. They they were fucking the whole time, <laughs> whole time, whole time they were fucking. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> sometimes they be doing that on movies. How come people believe other conspiracy? Well, theories people, there's a conspiracy that, that Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton like actually had sex in the monster ball scene. Why did Holly have it. to let a white man pop or they get an Oscar, you know? I was trying to remember that man. line. Who said I, that? I've been trying to think of it for a while. Yeah, it sounds like a kanye sure. line. It's uh, Jada Kiss Jada in Kiss Y. Y yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how she got, I mean, that's not how, but people are saying, yeah, she got the Oscar because she basically mm-hmm. yeah. let Billy Bob Thornton hit on camera. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then he Damn. went to Angelina Jolie right after. Yeah. Was, that, was that after or before Angelina? Same night. Lucky man. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> What'd you say? Was he the one that it's the video of him doing an interview and she's just yeah, stuck on him, VMAs. kissing up yeah. on his yeah, cheek? Yeah, and his yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to wear a vial of his blood, like in a necklace. It's always got to take it too far. Yeah, it's not that yeah she used to wear a you vial. Could tell of she was his about to adopt an African later. What? Yeah, you could That's tell she was off. You know I mean? Why does that? Why do you have to be off to adopt? In Africa. Is that a problem, though, do you think, to, to go to Africa, adopt children, and bring them back? I don't think that's a problem. Would, no. you, would you think, well, I mean, do you think you it's think a problem? It's yeah. Richard you think it's a problem? people with black kids? Um, no, I actually think it's dope. I do think it's dope. But there, is, there is a controversy and adopt. about that, about, you know what I mean, you're, you're going to another country, or another continent, bringing them back. She seems like a good mother. Yeah. And then she goes to Spelman right now. and Yeah, she goes to HBCU. Yeah. Is she Angelina Spelman? Jolie? Angelina is it Spellman at all? Is it Spellman? Isn't Spellman like a, a boys? A it's an HBCU. It's an all women's HBCU. No, isn't Spellman the boys? Nah. nah. That's Morehouse. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, yeah. Does she um, go to class? Like, imagine going to class, you just pick a random seat, and Angelina Jolie comes and sits beside you. I think no, she Angelina <laughs> Jolie's not in school. Her, so daughter, her daughter is. Oh, I thought you oh, said my Angelina God. Jolie was back in school. No, no her no, daughter. No, no, no. Oh. Her daughter that she adopted from Africa, Zara or Zara, whatever her name is, oh. she goes to spell. Are you trying to beg? If you're in that <laughs> class, you see Angelina Jolie's black daughter. Yeah, if I was her age, then yeah, then yeah, why not? Just off the name alone, even if she's not the best on the eyes. Oh my gosh! Yo. No, but it would be a feather in her cap. Mm. What? Yeah. It would be a. Uh, it would be a positive. That Angelina Jolie's her mom. Yeah. So if Angelina Jolie, so if you're dating Zara and Angelina mm-hmm. Jolie was giving you eyes, what are you doing? <laughs> Angelina Jolie, like at 60 years old or whatever she is right now. She's not 60. I'm, what is she, 55? No. Nah. I'm, I'm cool she's on not Angelina 55. She's probably like I'll late she's 40s. Definite, no, she's in her 50s she's for sure. Fifth. Angelina Jolie's older than Sofia Vergara? Damn. Damn. Angelina exactly. Jolie? Yeah. Exactly. My I knew she was not 50. Word. My fault. Yeah, Sofia Vergara is like <laughs> 50. You said 60. You my said fault. 60. My That's fault. crazy. Then you said 55. How old is Jay-Z? He's like Jay-Z. 50 he's 50. He's 50 no, something. he's more than 50. He's 51 How or something. How old do you think, I think he is? He's 50 something. If Beyonce is what, 40? He's 50. He's 54. He's Thank 54? you, yeah. I was like, he's older uh, than 50. Okay. I said 50 something. Yeah, but y'all made it seem like it was like, yeah, 51. No, he's like, because if Beyonce is what, 40? 46, 42? 40, yeah, yeah, Beyonce 42? is not 46. I was about to say, that's crazy. So how old's Kim K? 42. She's like 40. Kim K's older than Beyonce. Kim K's 40. She's like 40 something. <laughs> I think she's, or maybe she's the same age as Beyonce? 40, 43, Kim? Oh, damn. These people are getting old. God, mm. I'm mercy. Yeah, but I'd rather like Kim K than Angelina Jolie. Like, I don't know. Angelina I feel Jolie. like Angelina Jolie didn't age the way we thought she nah. would. No offense. Because yeah. Angelina Jolie was, not was, but... In her prime, like yeah. wow, like gorgeous, yeah, sure. gorgeous. Yeah. Now she's a little bit. Brad Pitt done wore her down, Joe. Yeah, yeah, Brad Pitt done wore her down. Word. But I mean, hey man, you lose them how you get them. <laughs> and she, <laughs> listen, I've that's uh, cool. how. <laughs> Why? No, no, I said that's how heavy How is that not that. true? That's definitely true. I believe in that. Because he got... I agree. Because wasn't... Time, listen. Jennifer Aniston. Time yeah, will yeah, tick that's what I was saying. and they time were cheating will tell. When they 
got together, right? Yes, they yeah. were. Yeah, Jennifer. They got basically got together on the set of Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Smith. Smith. And I'm pretty sure, like, someone from production called reports said that someone on production, like, Jay called Ann. Jennifer Aniston and was like, yo, you need to come on set because this is weird. Mm. Mm-mm. So she knew from then that something was going on. Imagine someone calling you from your husband's work and your husband is wilding on set Damn. with Angelina Prime, Angelina Jolie. And it sucks because he has Trust. a valid alibi. Well, yeah, you're at I'll work. Let, <laughs> you go, Yo, I'm at work. I'm in character. I'm I'm her what do you husband. Want me to do? I'm her husband. I have to stay in this character. Yeah. Stay in this character. How how do, you, how do you how do you well, how do you refute that's that? Full circle to the Mia Couple shit, babe. I was right? method acting. Because you're talking about Mr. and Mrs. That's Smith. That's wild. Yeah. So, yeah, it's full circle with the Trevante Rhodes and Kelly shit. How is it full circle? Because they're playing a role. So, who knows what happens next? See, oh, I don't God. like how, like, that whole Trevante business. It's reminding me of The weekend in that terrible show. Oh, <laughs> the, 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 pop, the pop star? The, the, yeah. I, the, the, the idol? idol? The idol, yeah. yeah. But what, how is it? How is it the same? Or why is it I feel me? like if that show, like, became very popular, that would be, you know how The weekend does, like, a character? He did the guy with the bandage wrapped up. And oh, like the big yeah, yeah. I think he would have been that guy for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like it's, so, so I'm trying to say, do you feel like it's hard for people to like unbreak certain characters? Like once they're in it and they realize the love this character is getting, it's hard for them to just like, like, let me just sit in this for a little bit longer. Yeah, That's how especially this like, died. this himbo shit that, um, that Trevante Rhodes is on that you're saying like, himbo. It, it's, he's just feeding what people want. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, he knows that's what goes viral. You know what I mean? Woman might not like his haircut right now. But <laughs> people not liking his haircut? I don't think they like the way he's growing it out. Oh, but okay. Apart from that, they like what he's doing. He's going to keep feeding him that. Mm. But he has to watch out to not be typecast. You know? That's true. But yeah, I, I do listen. I believe you lose him how you get him. Alicia Keys' time is coming. Alicia Keys' time? Who did, who well, I mean, she, she already lost her voice, so maybe that was her sacrifice. Yeah, that, was, that was her pain. Damn, shit. Pay man. Who did who did Alicia Keys like what happened there? Swiss Beats. Who was he with? He was married. To like I, she's not like I don't think yeah, she's a star, like but like I woman. think like a regular woman. He was married and had kids with this woman. And like I guess they were kind of maybe on the rocks, but Alicia Keys kind of just came in and just you know. I don't think that's a hard sell. What do you mean? <laughs> what? If, if, if a band's on the rock, if you're on the rocks and Alicia Keys is throwing you the life raft, that lady knew that her time was over. That is so mean. Two thousand what five Alicia Keys? Was when, it that long ago? Whenever was it? When no. they got I don't think it was that Two thousand eight, early mid two thousand tens. Yeah, I'll say two thousand ten. Two thousand eight. No? They've been together since then. Two thousand eight. Yeah. Alicia wow. Keys look good. She still looks good, but yeah. that's 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 like. Love don't cost a thing, Christina Milian. Do you think Alicia Keys is a pick me for the no man- makeup angle? I wouldn't call her a pick me, but it's definitely like, girl, move on. Like, mm. okay, thanks, next. Because like, niggas love that. Niggas are like, I'll, Alicia I'll, doesn't I'll, have to wear makeup. Yeah. <laughs> and you out here looking like a birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> oh but I feel like. She wears, and maybe it's, I don't think she's completely barefaced. No, no. I genuinely don't believe, maybe she's not wearing like, I think she might have like tinted moisturizer, you know, maybe a little bit of like matte powder. Like, might I do don't a little think, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, I don't think she's complete like <laughs> wash your face bare, like just moisturizer, clear moisturizer, by the way. Mm. And now I'm on stage. Girl, no. No, yeah. No. Okay. She definitely got a little some some, even if it's like a little powder, a little tinted moisturizer. If she's calling that no makeup, sure. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, like what? She got lip gloss. What is that? Her lips is are not that, dry. Is that makeup? Is lip gloss? I don't makeup? know. Is it? I don't. Think I wouldn't so. call it makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a fine line. And then she literally dropped the skincare line. I think so. everybody, every last woman does skincare line. Lori Harvey, Alicia Keys, <laughs> Rihanna. No. All you light-skinned women want to drop skincare lines. That's a light-skinned woman thing? I mean, kind of. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah, you have great skin, but, like, doesn't need to drop a skincare line. Did Lori Harvey even skincare line even do anything? I don't think so. No. We don't know. She doesn't speak. <laughs> but I remember she, like, I had... I didn't even know that. Yeah, she, she was dropping a whole skincare line. What was it called? Lori? No, I think I don't remember. It was skin? Oh, it was called skin. See? Like the condom? <laughs> Like it just oh, maybe. I don't know, you know. Go I think it was S-K-K-N, I uh, think. Okay. 
It wasn't. Isn't skin condoms like S K Y N? You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like you don't know how it's spelled. <laughs> What's next on the docket? First of all, <laughs> don't <laughs> do that. You got it. <laughs> but um, are you a skins guy? Oh god. Yeah, skin is nice, man. Skin's better than Trojan. Yeah, it's no. Uh, no, what, what's the material that like makes them no latex? latex? Isn't yeah, it, isn't yeah, yeah. it lambskin? I don't know what the skin is. It lambskin? Is lambskin? I don't know. I, I could. I, I could have just made that up. I don't know. But I feel mm, like it I might hope be. The vegan woman didn't know. What? You said it's lambskin. Holy yeah, but shit. Oh shit! Is, is it though? <laughs> Can someone <laughs> check that? Yeah, they, they. But I mean, they, okay, they but might, but they might then lose their, okay, their but if you are a vegan woman mm. and allergic to latex, mm. what do you do? Raw skin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they both had good answers. <laughs> both had S-K-I-N. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Take that Y out. Yeah. <laughs> Start a family. Girl. But there's non-latex. There's non-latex. Yeah, but I thought the non-latex ones are made with limb skin. Are they not? I'm going to check. Skin condoms. What did I check? Skin condom material? Skin. Yeah. Y'all taking a condom sponsorship? I have one currently. Really? Skin oh, yeah. Condom. That's fire. Oh, it is lambskin. It is lambskin, right? Yeah, I knew it. Case of lambskin, yeah. Told Damn. you. I know my, I know my non-lambskin That's got to be ethically worse. Yeah, haram. Lambskin. <laughs> 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 got to be. Or some of them are made with polyesprine. Polyesprine? It's poly. Oh, that sounds better. Polyesprine. It's a synthetic version of natural rubber latex. Mm. Mm. Yeah, some of them. That's why I think it smells like that. What? <laughs> Did you I mean? feel like skin condoms smell better than Trojans. Trojans. Yeah. Trojans are ugh, They don't gross. smell like the auto zone. Yeah. I don't know. Trojans are definitely awful. Trojans, Magnums, wait, terrible. Wait, wait, wait. Who's your sponsorship, brother? Trojan. Oh, okay. Sorry. Shout out to Trojans. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I, I didn't say a word. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't say a word. That's true. That's Apologies. True. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. Maybe, pro, well, tell children that they maybe should make a latex free. Do they have latex free condoms? They should. Probably. I feel like, because you know how, like, now, like, female. Number one bestseller, right? Whatever they're doing is working. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know how, like, uh, women now have, like, organic feminine hygiene products? Mm-hmm. Do they? Yeah. But do so. those, is it like natural deodorant where, like, it doesn't really work? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? They do? Oh, bare skin Trojan. Have you used the rippled ones before? The rippled condoms? Maybe uh, once or twice, yeah. I don't think I have. I don't Is think I've real? ever seeked them out. I've I've used them, but I don't think I ever seeked it out. Yeah. I don't think Damn, I have. That, that's one of those a... which is always like, yo, you got one. <laughs> you, just, you know those ones <laughs> when you're young? You're like, yo, who has one? Yeah, you got <laughs> I'll take this. Who has one? Uh, yeah. Walk around. <laughs> but regardless, yeah. So now women. Okay, first of all, the natural deodorant. Well, I use... Aluminum free Some now. Some natural deodorants do not bang. Oh, I know. I 100% agree. That's why I said, I think I tweeted this like last time. I'm like, yo, put the aluminum back in the deodorant because yeah. the way y'all stink. Yeah. Yeah. But. Or like when people try to like wipe their arms with lemon or something. Like, how, you know how they try to get that off? No, no, no. <laughs> the arrogance, you know, to think. The, uh, lemon. I hate this. Yeah. But anyways, there's, um, yeah, there's like, I use now the aluminum free like spray. Okay. Like the. Okay. Sh- and it's actually working. Pretty, I don't know why I did that. Okay, it's actually working yeah. pretty good. I like it a lot. I smell good all day. Yeah, and there's, there's no like. I also don't really sweat as much. So you like, don't use the normal? roll anymore. No, I used. To, I, first of all, okay. One pet peeve about me: I hate streaks. White armpits. Mm. White armpits for women. Yeah, your armpits are women shown more than or ours. men. Women but our or armpits men. aren't really shown. I don't like care. That. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> If, if they yeah. do show and I see when it like when people use white stick deodorant yeah. and then they sweat and then it starts to clump. <gasps> no. yeah, I that's literally. Sad. That's nasty. You I know literally. what I don't like? I don't like the like the jelly deodorant. You know, the oh, one where the like, worst th- and they it's don't the work. worst. I like deodorant. the jelly like deodorant. The jelly I deodorant. Are you talking about like the blue old spice? No, like the jelly one where it's like, <laughs> I like the blue old spice where it's like no, not that it comes thing. up oh. through like the holes like a yeah. chia pet. Fuck that. And it's like the gel. I've only seen that in other countries. No, I, I no, remember like, What that. secret has the gel? Oh, I, I, I think don't like it was that. like they Arm and Hammer or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Arm the secret one for women was good. <laughs> yeah. I like the gel one. And it's one. like super cold and it's really sticky and it doesn't work. Yeah. 
I maybe for you, men. It's like that, you know that lotion that doesn't work, the cocoa butter one, and it's in like the clear and it has oh, the yeah, brown yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that lotion does not work. And it's really runny. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like so. cocoa butter. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Is know. it the Vaseline one? No, the lotion oh. that doesn't work <laughs> that all black people had in yes, their house. Yes, yes, yes. I don't yes. remember. You I know I what I'm about. talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. It's yeah. like a it's like a beige-ish yeah, see-through yeah. bottle. Yeah. It has a brown top and it has like pictures of like coconuts yeah, or like yeah, the yeah. beans Damn, on it. Oh, picture, maybe. Yeah. It's maybe. the worst lotion in the world. Got a full stock nah, of that at the shoppers clear, right now. <laughs> the clear deodorant works because it doesn't leave the white clumps. Mm-hmm. Like that, I'm telling you, that white clump mess is... Ne- oh, yeah, it's yeah. sick. Mm. It's sick behavior. I hear you, though. I hear you. But the spray is even better, though. The spray goes on, it looks like just like... it's You can't even see nothing. So you didn't follow your own advice? Of what? Y'all got to put the aluminum back in the deodorant. <laughs> Honestly, since I found the secret spray, yeah, I don't mind it. And I tested okay. it. I went to the gym with it. Yeah. You know, did it because some people's like, "Yo, like you stink still." Yeah. And it's like, "Oh, I'm not even." Yeah, but put it back. <laughs> but for those <laughs> tests, you need a third party test. You can't go like, you can't do that. Yeah, you, you need a third party test. I tested with my mom because my mom, okay. yeah, you know, you, she, you know, my I mom has your mom. like yeah. menopause. If anyone, your mom will yeah, tell you. Yeah, your mom when you knows stink. when you stink. <laughs> your mom will tell you yeah. that you stink. Yeah. My mom's yeah, and she would definitely be like, "You stink." Yeah, like she yeah. would tell me. It's like, yeah, yeah she never Facts. said it. So I'm like, I'm like, do I smell? She's like, oh, actually, no, you don't smell. So In I think clear. you should try the, well, women. I don't know men can try it too. Do, how do I phrase this? Oh, God. Let's go. Do women tell their friends if they have an odor? Yeah. Like a, not a, like a B-O. Like a C O. Oh, down there. What's a C? Oh, okay. Coochie odor. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. I've never smelled my friends' coochies. Thank God. Ever in your life? No. No. You never rested on their legs or whatever. Just. You never like got oh, your hair in their lap, and then you never like were getting your hair braided up. between one of them's legs, and your nose crinkled a little bit. No. <laughs> no. That's good. Thank God. But I've definitely been in a room with a woman who's not my friend. Mm. And I was like, okay, something's happening. And then I heard on the street that she, I, I'm not going to. No, sorry. You know what's crazy? I, I know who Zoe's talking about. What's crazy is she told actually, that full story on the fucking pod before, too. That's crazy. Oh. I know exactly the episode she, and everything, name too. Drop? It's fine. Hell no, she no. didn't. No, she's fine. Hell You're safe. Oh. <laughs> I know exactly how this story goes. Yeah. Yeah. Is he I know who talking, talking about, about the same person? I am. No, there's no, no way. There's no, no way. Stop, there's stop, no stop, way. You guys run it up. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not. We're not going to hell. No, we're not. I'm just stop, stop, stop. Everybody's no, I'm, we're not. I'm just saying that there's no way that he is talking about the same person. If he is, mm-hmm. then that word spread to all <laughs> different parts of the city, bro. <laughs> because hey. someone else. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk is, off this camera. Is, this is a Patreon yeah. off air conversation. Yeah. All I'm saying is I've definitely been because my thing is one thing about me. If I know you stink, that's that's like your stamp in the my musty head. Musty allegations. No, not even musty allegations. If I myself had no, you stink more than once or off the first rate? one time. If one time you stink, you get that's grace stuck once. in my head. How do you like also not get told that you stink and that's not like a devastating like someone just told you you're ugly or something? It's just I like yo, you. fix the fuck up. Like how are you not like? Come correct again. I, t- like, I, I told know. you guys, I'm still traumatized from when I wore too much cologne at school. I'm still traumatized <laughs> to put on a lot of cologne to this mm. day. But I think, like, I'm saying, I understand there's bad days, but my brain can't remove that, like, sticker on you. After like, the if, first attempt? What do you mean attempt? One bad day? Like, for example, I, so, one time, oh my God, I saw this girl once that, her and I are not friends, but I know her, and I saw her once after a concert, and she came and gave me a hug, and she stank. But it was a concert. You have to allow that. Yeah. It's a concert. Do I? It's a concert. Yeah. Do it's I? a your physical. You, she's jumping up and down. It's a lot of people. It's hot. I can fake cool and not even really be moving. Like people yeah, are around. But it's, it's, I'll let it slide outdoors, at a concert. Like, it depends on the context. Nah, man. Because I concert. feel like there's so much precautions that you like. Why is the deodorant not working, sister? Because what if it's see? This is why <laughs> I'll give people one chance, maybe two, if it's in a certain context. Because what if like. You had a shift early in the day. You <laughs> forgot to put on deodorant. You did your shift. And nah, you went, as and an you, adult, you can't forget to put on and deodorant, And you went bro. straight to the concert afterwards. No, that's sick. Nah, you got to stop and get deodorant, yo. You got to stop. Sorry, we're What's adults. What's in that purse? 
We're adults. No, man, we're adults. One thing my mom taught me is, yo, you put on Jordan before you leave the house. Have you Point ever, blank period. Have you ever, um, what's your goal to, even to if, mask Even if you get up out the bed. To mask put, a stain? A stink. A to mask like, a if you know you smell bad and you don't mm. have access to deodorant, mm. what do you do? I mean... Get access Fuck, to deodorant or wipe. No, no, you gotta some, wipe. There are down. some times when, like, you there's you can't deodorant. There's you hundred no percent have around. to wipe down. Like, you need to go to the bathroom, yeah, yeah, use yeah, soap, yeah, yeah, yeah. water, down. and wipe down. I but also heard hand hand sanitizer will stop your. It will like clog your pores for like you get like an hour maybe. <laughs> That's like yeah, if you're non-stink. somewhere not nowhere near a CVS like, like you have or, no yeah. other. CVS, we I are mean, not in the states. Shoppers, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've done yes. that. I've done that before. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, maybe if you're like at school or something. Never can. I've over. never thought. Hand yeah. sanitizer. It'll it'll close up your pores. You get maybe like an hour or two. Oh you my god. That shit. Damn. You got yeah. to, bro. No, I just think. I yeah, get, no. I get so self conscious if I know that I stink. So do I. Yeah. If it's like, yeah, and my thing is, you you must smell yourself, sis. Like I know you, and then you want to come hug me. <laughs> Like I'm at not, least yeah. be like, hey girl. If I know I'm, I, Sorry, I'm I know so I sweaty stink, from that show. My arms are staying down. Yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> hi. I'm not. Nah. And they stay down. <laughs> they stay down. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say? Like you think your shit don't stay. Like I think it's like something. There's, it's a very specific person to like disregard that. No. To know this. To know With you no smell. Difference. To know how offensive you are to one of the most unique senses. You know, like smell and just... But whatever, smell, deodorant, whatever. Yeah, like, smell is oh, a I tough smell bad, one. Okay, whatever. And you still smell bad after. It's like, smell is a, a tough people? one to bring up when it's like not your like friend friend. Mm. Like I could do like if you have something on your face, if you have something in your teeth, if you have a booger, I'll tell you instantly. I don't care who you are. I will tell you. I feel no ways. But if you smell, that's a little bit more delicate. If your breath stinks, I'm just going to offer you gum. And if you deny it, yeah. I'm going to give you a look. Breath stinks? <laughs> I, I, you can't really do I that. I do that one. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I, I, I'm like I have gum. Do you want one? And they're like, no thanks. I'll be like. I take that as a sign. <laughs> Actually, no. If someone offers me gum, I'll be like, do I need it? Like, I'll ask. And that at that point, you can oh. say, yeah. It's not okay. that. I don't think if it's If you bad. ask, then I'm going to tell you. Some yeah. people are like, if oh, I say, no, do I'm I okay. need it? And I'm like. <laughs> you can say, yeah. <laughs> you might be okay, but I'm not. So. <laughs> That's a bar. Gum. That's a bar. <laughs> Is it? You might be okay, but I'm not. Yeah, you got to use this gum. Immediately, oh, yeah. but yeah, I feel like it's hard telling people. Yeah, I don't Smell. think I ha- the the CO I don't I've, I've never had. <laughs> CO is kind of crazy, except for like there are girls I don't know. I mean, I used to be yeah. a dancer. When you're in the change room, sometimes huh? you're, yeah. What you used to be a what a dancer? Okay. Like she means like an actual like, dancer. Yeah, like ballerina. Oh, my bad. Right. What do you think? <laughs> not a new age dancer. You mean, okay, yeah, like yeah, new I, age. I, love, I, I love seeing I Nicho know. receive <laughs> certain words, man. You can tell by the life he lives. Like, yeah. What the hell? Like, yeah, you're right. You're right. I got to <laughs> no. make new dancer. friends. Yeah. <laughs> no, like competitive dancer, like ballet, yeah. jazz. Ta- yeah, that's so how it should be. Yeah. When you're in the change room mm-hmm. and tights come off. Ooh, it's like yeah. a hockey bag open. Or you're in the and you're in the ballet <laughs> studio in the summer. You're doing plies. Yeah, <laughs> coochies Please. are open. God what? Damn. What'd you say? How long what were you doing I, ballet? For? Yeah, did you I did ballet for like twelve years, oh, wow. oh. from like four to like yeah, like high school. Do you have That's nasty fire. ballet feet? Oh yeah. <laughs> damn. Oh yeah. Damn. The Asian ladies be like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about you in their language. <laughs> She's like, oh, you have small pinky nail. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> you have small pinky nail. And it's because I when I wear, when I I wear point. <laughs> I <love it>. <laughs> <laughs> because when I wear yeah. point shoes, yeah. or I used to wear point shoes, right? Like when you wear a point, you're yeah. on like your toe knuckles, basically. Mm. So, yeah, your toenails would crack. My Ooh. pinky nails have cracked off so many times, they like oh, barely grow back. You barely got none left there. That's yeah. the no pinky toe. I have the no pinky the toe. No pinky yeah, toe it's toe barely crazy. there. Mm. Listen, but my girl does a good job. Okay, they're, they're Dude, cute. You like, get I get a them discount? done. Why would, <laughs> I get, why would I get a discount? Oh, because yeah, I You only pay 90%. She's only paying no nine pinky toes. <laughs> no. Eight toes. I don't get it. But eight she told me, she said, listen, as long me. as the big toe looks good, it doesn't matter. And I said, bless sister. She knows As me. long as the big toe looks good? Yeah. She said, as long as the big toe looks good. That's, uh, that's where our eyes go first. <laughs> <laughs> she said, eyes go to your the big toe first. That's where our eyes go first, right? And my big toe has the most nail. My, yeah. my toenails are also very small. Mm-hmm. Like, they're very, like, tiny. Right. But I have rugby feet and ballet feet. God, God damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Sweet. Sweet, merciful joke. They're not that bad. Right. They're not that bad. Yikes. Rugby. Like, when they're, 
when they're done and you know and they're painted, I make sure I keep my toes painted. They're not throwing up blood. No, yeah, they're you not. You don't have the LeBron feet. No, like there's no like corns and like cows. No, no, no. It's just like the toenails yeah. are small, and that's she could work with that. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The pinky nails a goner. Yeah. Not gonna lie. After point and and one time I wore rugby <laughs> like when I first started playing rugby mm. before I got my new cleats, I was wearing my friend's cleats, mm. and her cleats were like half size too small. But I was like, fuck it, I can't, like, I can't not, Ooh, like, bloody play. socks. Oh, my toenails fell off, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Like, my toenails, like, dropped off. Like, oh lifted God. and just went off. My mom was so did pissed. You, did you, like, pull your toenails off? Well, I mean. Or did you, like, let it fall I off? realized, I'm like, wow. I'm like, I lost bare toenails. Yeah, so, what like, I realized. <laughs> what do you mean? Because you, you could basically. You don't lose toenails? No. Basically, I, I got shoes that fit. Oh, yeah. So it cuts off the circulation, basically. So your toenail becomes dead because your uh. the cleats are so tight. And when you play a whole game with tight ass cleats, it mm. cuts off. So I remember looking at my feet like a like, week after, and I'm like, "Yo, my toenail looks like loose." And I like flipped it, and I was like, "Oh!" And it just like, yeah. Damn. One thing I can't bang is Love a small shoe. I I never could hold that through <laughs> my whole life. Nah. I can't wear a small shoe. No. Yeah. But I, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell the coach my ankle hurts. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Tell I coach to get you that. some bigger shoes. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Then uh, I got after like the second day, I'm like, yeah, no, I need to go buy new cleats. Like and your tomorrow. toe was a goner off of two days. Yeah. Damn. I played a whole game or I think it was like a whole day or tournament in mm-hmm. like small cleats. Damn. My toes were curtains. Yeah. But I mean, how were you on the rugby field? Were you like hitting or getting hit? Oh, I was hitting. All right. I was hitting for sure. I get think thrown in the air to like catch the ball. Okay, so because I was fairly tall in rug, well, yeah, I was tall in high school and li- university, obviously. Um, you did rugby in uni? Yeah, just like rec though. I didn't Ooh, do like okay. competitive. Oh, yeah, those. <laughs> I won't lie. Mm. When I got to university and like, I also went to U of T. U of T was U of T teams was shit. Uh, like our rugby team was ass. And I went from being on a team that was like undefeated. Mm-hmm. To a team that was actually shit. Mm. And all the good teams at the time when I played rugby were Western and Queens and mm. McGill. Okay. Had really good rugby teams. Yeah. And girls that were on my team previously, a lot of them went to they Queens, went West. So I'm like, bro, I'm not going to play my old teammates on a shit team. Yeah, yeah. Like, crushed. there's no, yeah, I'm going to get crushed. And, and then by that time, university, like, this is going to sound rude, but you have to, like, determine if you want to have a feminine body or a more masculine body when you're playing rugby. Fair, yeah. 100% because Some those, of those women got mustaches. You got to start bench <laughs> pressing. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you are getting like if I played rugby you're getting deezed. Yeah, yeah. Like deezed. Yeah, you're getting fucking hench. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like I mean the shoulders are broad. Okay. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> I don't mind a deezed body if your face still looks good. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's like just not it's not terrible. No. You you, you would do Serena deezed? If it was her, <laughs> like you could you could let that slide for Serena Williams. It's Serena Williams. It's just like someone else with the Serena body that's not Serena. I don't know. That's two D's for you. Serena's D's. No, yo. but she's thick too, so it doesn't look like crazy. Nah, well, you Serena's, just said if it was a blank canvas, her body, you wouldn't do that. She's two D's for you. Yeah, yeah. I need to see a picture again. I might be, <laughs> I might be thinking like Serena's D's. There's yo. that one picture of Serena that they like use to like really. Emphasize this. Serena is like. deezed, like, Seri- and I'm not talking about young. I'm talking about like Serena, like, and she as she got older and put weight on, like her muscle, like Serena was, boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, like that, she was yeah. not playing off that AGA. She's like the okay. one, arguably the best athlete, like ever. Like she is, yeah. That's not that bad. Uh, like she still looks feminine. She does, but she's. I would. Nah, yeah, she yeah, still yeah. looks feminine. I, I could. It could go on. It could go on. Yeah, she's very strong though. But yeah, I feel like so when you you're wanted a f- more feminine body. Not even that. I just don't know if I was dedicated to just like the amount of weightlifting and yeah, like yeah, stuff yeah. you had to do on top. Like it was a lot. So yeah. I didn't. I only played like wrecking university and pickup or whatever. Yeah. But Is it um, flag rugby or are you guys? No, you're still tackling, other? but you're just yeah. not playing like what? against other schools. But this it's is, more this like is a organized league. baddies club. <laughs> Wait what? <laughs> These guys are hitting each other. Yeah, um, but it's not like you know thing. But yeah, I played rugby and yeah, I, they tried to make me a jumper and literally as a jumper, like it, so when the ball goes out of bounds, 
when you throw it back in. So someone throws it and both teams fight for it, but you they lift you in the air. Yeah. In like rugby shorts, you have That's your shorts. That's so cool. You li- they get they lift you up there. And you I, fuck- oh, yeah, yeah, I used to say that rugby yeah. is a mix of cheerleading, soccer, and football. That's fire. Literally, because when the ball goes out of bounds, you do a line out where yeah. they throw the ball through the middle and both teams jump in the air and fight. Yeah. For the ball. Scary as shit. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That and like so literally crazy. you're getting the, na- I saw, a, a, what's it called? A clip of a girl on Twitter doing it yeah. and you get the nastiest wedgie because they lift you by your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so like your shorts are in your asshole oh through it, like in your rectum, like pulling okay. you up, like literally. Damn. You're, yeah. such, you're kind of versatile because you're doing that and ballet at the same time. Yeah, I was literally doing like ballet, yeah. like in the morning. Like the more, the most like feminine fucking dainty yeah. shit. And then and I would then, yeah, check like into rugby women, yeah. in the evening. The <laughs> punching <laughs> Or whatever. Just like, I don't know, just tackling them or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I won't lie. The first time I got hit, I was shocked. Because, mm. like, I started playing in high school, right? And then, like, in high, like obviously in practice, because my coach was like, oh, yeah, you're fast. You'll be good. You're fast. You're tough. You'll be good in rugby. You should try out. So I tried out and made the team cool in grade nine. And then... When you practice, like, you're not actually hitting each other because you're on the same team. You don't want to risk injuries. So, like, we practice, you, know, you, you rap, whatever, whatever. So, I remember my first game, I'm not used to getting hit because I'm Someone like, oh, we've been rapping this whole time. So, I obviously, I'm running with the ball, and I just get boom, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, that's what we're doing? Like, this, yeah. this is the level of, like, physicality. That we're, and I'm like, yeah. from then, I was like, okay, like, right. that's it. And then, yeah, that was pretty much it. You're like, yeah. kill or be killed after Yeah, that. definitely. Yeah. Yo, your first hit in rugby, you're like, because, like, mm. It's not like, yes, there's rules, like mm-hmm. high tackles and whatever. But like, yo, if you get like, yeah. they don't care. Hit, Even as good. women, like, yo, when you get hit, you get hit. Yeah. Like, they don't give my, a fuck. That's why my cousin quit football. Yeah. Really? He said in practice, he, that first time he got hit, like mm-hmm. the first time he got cracked, he's he like, yeah, I'm not, I remember I'm not the going drill. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm I remember not going the back. drill. I remember everything. I remember the, like, yeah. Yeah. You remember that first hit? The drill that turns you into a basketball player. (laughs) (laughs) I remember the moment I got permanently made into a basketball player. That's wild. Um, Certain sports. mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I had fun. I played rugby for like five, six years until I like really, really stopped. I had a lot of injuries, knees, shoulders. But I mean, it's, it's a fun sport. It is a fun sport. You never played organized ball at all? No, man. I don't have one basketball bone in my body. You never got a basket. I knew I knew how the game works. I knew the rules. I watched it. When it came time to playing, bear travels. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I never Makes wanted sense. to box either. Yeah. I don't want to get hit in my face. <laughs> I'll train. I'll do boxing training, but I'm not sparring and I'm not fighting. Is that's there, fair. Is there part of you that wants to be able to, like, know how to, like, just really fuck someone up or something like that? Or, like, really. knowing that if, like, any situation where you had to defend yourself on some crazy dude like that, oh, no, I know I'm a black belt. I know I could, like, or I'm... A boxer, like, does that appeal to you? Like, uh, not really. I took karate lessons when I was a kid. Okay, I forgot all of that. I heard that shit useless in a fight anyway. Karate, yeah, or boxing? No, nah, boxing is no, karate. I heard is just useless because these guys are going like this. What's that going to do in a street fight? You it gotta depends. Get, uh, if you know, nah, know. If you know how to, if Man, you know you how gotta to, get like, that nigga take, to the ground, right? That's it. No, but just if first you know how to, to get, first one you get to the ground wins. If you know how to, like, oh, take. Yeah, karate's not really like face to face knuckle up throwing punches, but you want judo or something. It's easier, that can, like, but if you know karate, it's counter. probably easier to like evade, and it's easier to get people to the ground, like you said. Eh, yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't know shit. I used to be nice in karate. I skipped a belt. What belt? Um, I think it was the green. It was like white, yellow, orange. Yes, no, it was yeah, white. Yellow, orange, and then it was like green, red, brown, no, black. White, yellow, orange, red, green, blue, purple, and black. Oh my mm. god, that's too many steps, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Loki. Yeah, god, takes people like and you years got to and what? Years to get it. Yeah, I failed the test. You have to do a test. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I failed the brown test. <laughs> that's pretty high, no? Brown's pretty high. As a kid, yeah, because I was because my mom's thing was. My mom never let me quit things. And it's mm. it's good, but I didn't like it at the same time. I joined karate thing, and I'm learning how to do backflips and running off the wall like the yeah, first day. The cool shit. Naruto. Yeah. The cool stuff, yeah. And I got there, and we're doing, like, foolishness, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to do this. And my mom was like, no, I already paid your staying. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in karate for a couple years. But my thing and is, we were sparring back then. When it comes to karate, and like you said, like, 
if a man, like if a hood man just pulls up on you, does the instincts naturally kick in to go to karate? Probably. If you could, f- <laughs> if, <laughs> like, if, if, if you know, help. like, if you're really on that karate life, then yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably. Or do your instincts go to like, oh my God, like do you freeze up or do you think like, oh, I got to chop, 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 chop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, wh- where does your mind go? Yeah. Probably to karate. Yeah, you think so? I would assume to yeah. karate. Mm-hmm. If it's like hand-to-hand that, hand yeah. combat, I'm not talking about like guns. And you think a karate man would be a street man in a fight? <laughs> if he knows what he's doing, yeah. Any, I feel like any organized fighter like who trains will beat someone who is it's not your, trained in fighting. It's your job to like, Fuck people up, yeah. Like I'm taking that person over the big scary over the guy, or the, yeah, the who's just gonna swing a hundred times, or is, sa- is loud and like is very overly aggressive. Anybody that starts stretching before a fight, I don't want. I'm putting money on them. Mm. Yeah, they're gonna hurt you because those karate niggas be stretching before their fights for sure. Okay, fair. I mean, that's all she wrote for me. Y'all got more? Do y'all got your swimming badges? I got pretty high level in swimming, not super high, but. I yeah. I, I learned when I was a kid. I was I definitely took swimming lessons. Yeah, when I so was a did kid. I. I'm glad to know that about did you. you. I was I was yeah. scared to ask that. I wasn't sure. No, no, was we, we, we we're all, we're four black people that can swim. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, can swim, swim pretty well. I can uh, swim yeah, pretty yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. My thing is like I don't. I know how to swim, but I just generally don't like open water. Like as I got older, because mm. my aunt owns like a boating company in Anguilla. So when I do like when I go to travel and I do boat tours in there, she like brings out. When you realize like yo, we're just in the middle of like like what's in here. Like, we're not the only people in here. We're not the only living things in here. Right. Yeah. So there's, Someone like, just, something you know what I'm saying? You under. And, like, I see people like, whales coming up. Like, yo, I don't play that. Yo. Mm. I don't play that, bro. Not even at the shore? What do you mean at the shore? Like, like not even, like, when you're No, no, I'll go in. Like, I'll get oh. a good ocean swimming. Okay. But I'm saying, when boats bring you out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, when boats bring you out and you're just kind of like, all right, y'all, like, we're going to yeah. snorkel out here. It's like, yeah, I'll do it. But, like, yo, what's really in here? Like, what's yeah. going on in I've here? done it a couple times, and it's like, I don't stay in long. Yeah. I did it in the Bahamas. Yeah. Mm. And when you're, and Beha- that's crazy, because Bahamas is so shark infested. There's shark, yeah. And I remember a man, a man said, yo, like, there's sharks in these waters. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, I'm not doing Bahamas still. I've done snorkeling in Jamaica, St. Martin, Anguilla. But even it's like, yo, like, I don't, why am I trying to look at these? Like, you know, it's calm. I don't need to see, That's when you like go that. in there with glasses and shit, and then you <laughs> go and check out. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Like, that's you wear fire. the goggles, and then you can breathe through the snorkel thingy. Oh, so that, you, okay. you, you learned that low. the hard way. You can go way. too low if you want, but no, you just but you can't learned breathe. that you learned that the hard way. Yeah, because you can't. Because the first time you wear it, you think you could just breathe normally. No, and you're underwater, no. and you try to breathe, and you're choking. No, if you stay, like, yeah. if you stay leveled, you can breathe. Yeah, if if the tube is above it's, the it's water. If the tube is above water, but once you go down, yeah, yeah it's curtains for you. Oh, Don't breathe, because, yeah, yeah, you will die. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I almost died one time on some shit like that, though. Snorkeling? Nah, it was, um... What what's that shit where um submersible? What's that shit where you like you're, you that you glide for a little bit and then you jump off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what, you jumped off and what you can't. Yeah, and then like the the boat kind of like left let us to be for a little bit and was like yo catch up, and then like I had like one of those like life jackets <laughs> that were like hiking up. Oh. oh. And, <laughs> and then the current was hitting a little bit and I was like damn I don't remember how to swim for real, but I. <laughs> I made it though. Are you people like oh okay, well, because like people who like even if are you can't people? swim, like are you people? Oh, like are you, you the type of person? Okay, there you go. Um, like if you have a life jacket, like are you panicking? Honestly, I in that situation, I wish I didn't have a life jacket. Oh, because it was hiking up and shit, and it was fucking my head up. You could swim better oh, without a life yeah, jacket. I really? Not, yeah, I get lazy, so I like life jacket. I'm not gonna mm. lie to you, because sometimes I'm like, bro, I'm not even trying to paddle no more. I'm just trying to sit. But if the current <laughs> is flo- pushing you the other direction, then you're yeah. done. In the life jacket? Yeah, yeah, that's what was happening. You can't, you can't swim against the current in a I life jacket. I was fighting for my life to get back to the boat. I you was, would have mm. to take off the life jacket to swim. Man, mm. I got like a fear of that's like tough. open water, like where yeah. there's nothing. Open water is not not. One of my fears is like uh, like being on a plane that crashes in the middle okay. of water. In the water, okay. Like I just don't. So you wouldn't go on a cruise? Probably. I want to go on a cruise. I, I like but the I idea feel like of it, a but plane I don't know. crashing in the water is better than a plane crashing on land. No? Facts. Well, if you want to live. Yeah. I feel yeah, like you want to live. A plane live. on water or is way you, better than a plane on land. If you want to have a long Oh, actually, no. You might be right, though, because if you're in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> it depends where yeah. the water is. Yeah. 
Oh, I don't want to think about that yeah. anymore. Where that Malaysia yeah. flight Heaven crashed. Team. Like, oh my God. But that so flight, wild. there's like yeah. no trace Nobody of it, right? Nobody knows where it went, yeah. That's crazy to me. What do you mean no? Like, what do you mean right, no I'm one stopped. knows where it went? <laughs> <laughs> like, did it just, like, did the, what? Like, did the ocean just eat it? Uh, maybe they went to space. What? R.I.P. to all the lives <laughs> lost, man. You think they're dead? Yes, yes. No. They're, they're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> Well, I this mean, has been another episode. Kobe episode. Of the <laughs> this has been another episode. It could be like, what's that show called? Lost. No, when they, not lost. The one where they come back from the plane and it's like lost. No, it's not lost. What is, is it called? Is it called Manifest or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Where it's the it's a lost plane and they come back and it's like years later and they don't realize they're like what like what's wrong like we've only been like gone lost. for like twenty four. Here's hours. a no, long. Here's lost. a memory. Do you remember there was a show like Lost on Family Channel? And it was like the teenagers, and it, the, their plane crashed on the island, and they had to like wait till someone saved them. And I think Corbin Blue was on it. Oh wow! I don't think so. You don't remember that I show? Wasn't, I wasn't a Family Channel kid though. No, it was like the teenage lost. Okay, yeah. Family see, Channel. manifest when Montego. See, of course, why they got be Jamaica? When Montego <laughs> Air Flight Eight Two Eight landed safely Montego after turbulent Air? but routine flight, the crew and passengers were relieved. But in the span of those few hours, the world had aged five years. Oh wow! So it's like, yeah, they thought they went to Montego Bay and came back, and they're like, "Yo, what's going on?" But they've been gone for five years. Damn, they were gone. For, they were stranded for five years. Or? So it's like, okay, so it's like you going on a yes. trip to Jamaica, and there's a bit of turbulence turbulence whatever but you land and then you come or you come back and you're like oh yeah we've only been gone for a few hours and i'm like no nah, y'all been gone for five years oh wow yeah okay so that's the show was called Quantum flight Realm. 29 down oh, oh that sounds familiar that's what the show was that called. sounds familiar now that you yeah, say that you they're playing yeah. crash I never, I they were on an island it, yeah it that was, that was that, did that drop after high school musical <laughs> Uh, I think then so. I was, I was a good too, metric. I was too old for that shit at that point. 2005 to 2007. Oh, yeah. Mm. Then, uh, I should have been watching it. Word. Yeah. Well, if anyone who's flying, be safe. Yeah. <laughs> if you're up. listening to this on a plane, I'm sorry. Yeah, I hope this episode did not scare you. All right. Or Safety. if you've got one. Technology is great. There's no atheist on a crashing plane. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been episode 824. <laughs> See you guys next week. I'm going on to play next month, Lord of mercy. Yes.